Quindi che ero io? Dan, where are we at here? Well, Greg said it's somewhat spiraling. We're able to find uh, Say that again? It's been spiraling. We were able to find the uh, uh, they found the hook in the service that allowed this. Greg just now told you spiraling or what? No. Oh, when? No, just overall. Oh. Overall investigation is spiraling. Found the hook. They found the audit monster plugin. You want to just wait till they come in? It would be easier than. No, I agree. Just, uh, they, they, the business has some idea you know, how it was done, you know, when it was done. You know, they never, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys are even wanting to use McAvoy, but they've never sent him a contract. He's, let me tell you what happened, just so you know. I mean, he's writing a great report. I don't know if you need it. I don't know what's going on here right now. I'm just like lost because nobody keeps in touch with me. But they sent him a, an email from Paul, said, I'd like a resume. He sent him a great resume, a bachelor of science degree, all he's done, everything he's done, written books, he teaches, he's done this kind of research before, all this stuff. He's never heard anything, and yet he's worked almost 100 hours now putting together like 8,000 hand histories that are all... Yeah, but, he's, but he walked out on me yesterday. He said, Russ, they haven't called me back. I've been working three weeks. They haven't sent me any contract. They haven't communicated. They haven't done anything. So I'm just letting you know. He said, I'm going away for 10 days. I'm going to go... He works for Poker Stars. It be a great result anyway. A guy that works for Poker Stars he gives you a good result. But he's going away, so he said, you tell me when I come back if they want me or not. He said, because they have Paul has just sent a resume to uh, the Mohawks. We're getting there waiting for their approval. Okay. Um, but I think we're going to need it for it. Please start eliminate some of the exceptions. You know, you know, they have to be tweaked you know, somewhat. But at times that they've discovered that it's actually the audit monster in use. Uh, they report to be uh, you know, acknowledged that certain parts of the session were uh, more aggressive or more. I think the way he's doing the report is he does like the whole 10,000 hand history and he tells you that plays shorthanded, late, two and three handed, has to play, plays a lot of hands because it's shorthanded, it's two handed, three handed. Plays real aggressive. Uh, has never thrown away in 10,000 hands. Has never thrown away two kings against two aces, two queens against two anything, two jacks, two tens. Never has thrown away set over set. Has never thrown away flush against flush. Has never has never thrown anything away. Is very aggressive. So you know, there's there's good, there's bad. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, what's up, bud? Good. I'm in Portland right now. Yes. Oh, let me oh let me call right now. I gotta make that call back there and I'll get a hold of him. He's, he's supposed to call me later. Let me make that call right now. Oh, well let me let me make that call and I'll call you back. Okay. What's up? Okay, so we have the press. Oh. We have uh, Cokes and Diapepsi and Bobby Khan. Okay, so so I'll try to do the to the to what my uh, what my perspective is on kind of where things where things are, what's been done, who knows what, that kind of thing, and you can correct whatever is whatever's not right to make sure we're on the same page, and then add whatever new stuff that's happened. So um, I explained to Russ and Sandy that that very few people know exactly what's going on, that the business doesn't know, 
and and that the business is you know reacting to information and doing what you. But are there people in the business that'll talk like they did at AP, and that's what started the whole process? Anything's possible, but but the guy that's 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 running the investigation on their side is very concerned about that and has done you know what you know reasonable steps to to minimize information that's rolling around, not have lots of people looking at things, lock down accounts so that people can't send out stuff with IP addresses and that kind of stuff in it. So, I mean, anything's possible, but I don't know if you have any additional comments there. I mean, they're, they're, they're doing better than it was. I mean, they, they take put controls in place to work there from the last one. So, so the average customer service rep can't run these accounts. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're trying to take steps to, to, to have a very small group that is looking at stuff. Now, that still means there's a small group. And URI has been used extensively to, I mean, he's got the data. So it would make perfect sense if the business called URI, right? I need this, I need that. What about these accounts, that? I need, you know, whatever. What about these IPs, et cetera? And URI's not stupid. So, you know, he doesn't know what's going on, but he's not dumb. And yeah, I don't know if he follows the forums. You might know that kind of stuff better. So the comment, but even if he's not following the forums, he obviously he's probably poking around and looking at stuff and connecting dots. So Russ, Russ thinks sidebar. Russ thinks that it maybe wasn't Jim Ryan that called. That called uh, I just talked to Tony. It's one of the two. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. So <laughs> I think it was Yuri. It was Yuri? I think maybe. Because Dan, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, Ryan. That doesn't make sense. But the only person I can think that would know because Well, Yuri wouldn't know. But Yuri would not know who owns the blackjack. It's not blackjack, it's poker. No, but Yuri wouldn't know who owns the software. So I wouldn't be talking to Jim and Jim. Well, whatever. It's, this is really, I mean, we should have something to come back to. I'm just saying that we might have a big problem with, you know, obviously, if, if, if Yuri did that, this is like a fucking unbelievable one. Separate discussion. We need to go. So tell me what you know, cookie would have called. Other business that I don't know about. Nothing involved in other business. There's nothing that works? Nothing that would do it that involves all the so the other person well, talks to this person, this person knew that we were going to California to talk to him about interstate poker. I don't understand why you're in that. But it doesn't matter. Can we just come back to that? Because yeah. that's just more of a, a question. Yeah. Well, whatever that conversation was, and that's what, what I found disturbing as the information was related to me, I was not part of the discussion. So I'm putting out the talk to me. Whatever the, the, whoever the person was, they were acting in, in real time. Right. They knew we had a meeting the next day in California. And they said specifically, Russ Hamilton won't get licensed. There's 20 million reasons why. There's 20 million reasons why. Yeah, he needs to hear that. The person said there's 20 million reasons why he won't get licensed. It'll all come out very shortly. That's exactly what the person said. So it was it, it was really strange because by there are only nobody that knows the, the numbers. I haven't told could be yours. Jeremiah? So Jeremiah doesn't know. The reason other than early on I I gave him some idea of the magnitude. But the reason it was, was far less than it turned out to be. The reason this is just important that there's somebody that is saying that something. Now, let's define who it is just for argument's sake. Let's go through a, through a count. There are really four people in the world that knew that we had a meeting that could have communicated the information back in the way it came to Tony. Well, that's not true. We no. sent an email to Jim Ryan and to Greg, but we don't know who Jim you Ryan told. Where the meeting was, did you? No, but that doesn't matter. They didn't say to, okay, they well, didn't say to Tony, we know you're going tomorrow. Well, I, I, I'm not sure. We'll go back and dig it up. But can we, can we, you know, no, I think I sure. saw that email. Jim sent it to me and I said it. So you see, he sent the email off. And I wrote back to Jim and I just said, look, Russ is right. You've got to talk to him. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. So, so, so if there, obviously, whoever did that, we got to figure it well, out. Tony's remark was, uh, this is why I believe it was Jim Ryan. Tony's remark was, Maybe you're supposed to get back to this person and use them. But we were going to anyway. 
Okay. So let's on this issue, I want to make a note of it and, and come back at the end. So you have to whoever whoever it is, find out, deal with it appropriately. Obviously, we can't have them. The fear of people that are out there talking about it. But I, I just don't. Can, so can we get back and? Yeah. Yeah. So. So the business is independently doing all the things that you would expect them to do, and they they are, you know, they responded to this this complaint thinking it was nothing, saw some big numbers. They then went to the KGC because of what has happened with the AP thing and said, okay, well, this is this is going to take some time and don't come barging in here and give us some time. And I don't know how much they asked for, but you know, I don't know what's reasonable to expect. But basically, bought themselves a, a month or two. Do you know how much time? I think they said weeks. It's going to take weeks to go. So, and then they're doing the things that I said at lunch. So I explained at lunch that you know the business is looking at what, what it can do to make associations between accounts. If you actually want the results, I talked to Dan before you came in. If you actually want them from Tom on these five accounts, and you want reports, it's going to take three months. It's a long process. You can't do it. More, it's not. It's not a program that you hit a computer and it runs through it. Yeah, I understand. So okay. it's not a few weeks, guys. It's three months to go through those. He spent three weeks relentlessly doing the one, and he's just about finished with right. the one. So the original, the original um, hope was that you know have the qualitative thing done that Tom is doing, and then have the mathematical thing done. And you know, best case, they both say it's just it's it's, it's not clear. Worst case, they're conflicted, but at least you have an argument to say it's not clear, and how can you pay back if it's not clear and move on? Uh, so that was the going-in assumption. You need to make a note, Dan, that apparently this Tom guy is not engaged anymore and has walked away. And no, I, I, I heard that. Okay. So, uh, so they're continuing to look through all this stuff, and my perspective, based on that, the increase of information that's coming in, in, uh, from from our business and our system, is that. This is this is taking a little bit of a different track now. Not let's wait for the stuff to come back, but okay, we're we're leaping to the conclusion that we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to pay you know some percentage of this back. So now the question is how to bound it. That's my perspective on you know based on the kinds of questions that are coming, um, which might explain why de-emphasizing the qualitative stuff if they think like it doesn't matter. I don't know. So some some Dan maybe you can yeah. know what they did is they discovered this uh, code server code that allowed uh, viewing of the whole archives to like Yuri. At least he made it seem, uh, who knows exactly. Uh, so he's closed that apparently. Uh, then as a result of discovering that, they were able to find the name of the audit monster. And now they're able to design. They've got uh, evidence that, uh, uh, that we'll get certain percentages on these accounts, which they say are damnings that were denied, is extraordinarily high higher than any other account and, uh, that they've looked at. And it's a percentage which is expected to be between 10% for a good player. And, uh, they've seen the money flows, which are very unusual, number of account name changes. Uh, they've seen the fact that like Barney was used to withdraw tons of money. They've seen, uh, apparently, uh, uh, oh, one of those poor guys. No, neither Freddie's ever withdrawn a penny. Maybe he had deed. Freddie had deed. So those people have, you know, potential tax liabilities. Well, and uh, so these are now innocent people who, and, uh, uh, they are. They don't have tax liabilities. I claim the tax on my taxes. So you actually claim the winnings. I claim fifty-five million, five point two million on internet poker. So anyway, uh, I mean, I, I guess everybody's just pretty shocked. This thing went out, and they, they, they the business sort of has come to the conclusion that. Uh, uh, I might have even known about this. Uh, Jim may have known about it. Great. Things are just so damning. The transfers that are involved in the amount of dollars. They not believe that the company went public and didn't know about it. Eventually, they're now looking at their, what their rights are and what they can do. The eventual outcome of this thing is that they try to undo the deal and split the business act and just come out with the whole thing. Uh, you know, they're unfortunate, you know, this is a business with hundreds of people. These are good people. These are people who are in the gene. So, and they, they are insisting on, you know, Paul is not, does not want to be involved with it. He doesn't do the right thing. And, uh, so, you know, essentially, I think what's happened here is that uh, I'm a an assistant. And I uh, own about that. The business never would have gone public. People like Jim, of course, wouldn't have gotten involved. I never would have gotten involved. 
I mean, I went back, I spent a year, and this is just a personal note, I spent a year and a half of my life in Canada. And what was it for? It was to get $23 million to you guys, the IPO. And then you went on, and you cheated. You took $16 million from players. So you took $40 million out of this thing. And here I was working for Greg, who took a couple million dollars out. Basically, I mean, I just feel, and I, this is just a personal thing, I've got to separate myself from it, but I just feel like there's absolutely no way that I would have gotten involved in it. And I mean, if somebody like Sandy is involved with you, he knew that $18 million had been stolen off the site. Five dollars. I mean, really? it's just... I have no idea anyone was right. stolen off the site. And, uh, the, and there had to be more conspiracy. For you to just say that these people take millions off the site for me, they must have known something was going on. Which period are you talking about, Dan? Just they've identified 14 accounts, essentially. Which period of time are you talking about here? Where did it go back to? They haven't gone back too far, which is good. They've only gone back to a certain period prior to Oracle. So uh, we're talking 2005. They haven't gone so So this is Jim Ryan's time period that he was in there? Yeah, the most part. Well, a lot of it was not was was given to players to play tournaments, to stake them, to. That's fine. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're right. It doesn't matter. I mean, I look on this list here. First guy on the list. He's one of the best poker players in the world. Prelob Friedman. Prelob Friedman has never been involved in this in my life. So you're so you're way out of line already. You took 360 Gs from him. Oh, oh, took three. Okay, okay, I didn't know what you're talking about. He actually okay. was involved with us. He was on okay. the other side of the table. Okay. And this is the loss list. This is the loss list. And I see all the pros on here. You know what this, I mean, you know better than anybody. I mean, we're all destroyed. All our reputations are destroyed when this thing comes out. Uh, Does it have to come out, then? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a, I mean, Greg and I don't want it to come out, obviously. Jim doesn't know the extent of it. When he knows the extent of it, he won't want to come out and he'll get scared. He doesn't know. You know, he doesn't know uh, that, uh, uh, he doesn't know many details at all, other than the fact that there's... But isn't there a way to go to Norton up here? Like you were talking today? Yeah, oh no, Joe is a reasonable man. But uh, he, or I don't think he doesn't know the extent of it. Uh, Who's driving the investigation? Paul, really. Paul... He's all ready. He's been put in charge of it. Sort of the chief operating officer to Joe Norton. Miserable, poor sort of person who's running the business. He's basically the CEO. And he's he knows the numbers. He doesn't know. He and Scott don't know as much. Scott is really distant from the company. He stays involved, so he knows. Saul knows that he has an accountant who he says is an extremely trusted guy who's in the office named Ivan. Uh, he has so much. He doesn't know the details of where the money is coming from, but he's where it is to try to compile and mitigate the potential damage. Uh, but uh, Yuri, I think, knows. Now, if Yuri knows, I would imagine it's probably one product we need is, is some idea. But if he doesn't, Yuri's pretty good about that. Uh, Cookie. What's his Cookie is our condo, Joe. Cookie's in charge of the Joe relationship. Discussions that Paul has had with Joe. Cookie was actually had helped since he's the one who's told. Who said who, who, who said that? Cookie. Cookie. So he's he's managed to help push off the KGC with Joe. They're a good force for us in the sense that I think they can co opt the KGC. Uh, Joe just doesn't want anything. To, you know, his idea. The ideal thing would be if we call Joe and have some urban. The problem is, is now that they found the loop. Paul has told Joe that he's closed. That time he didn't go into the as far as I know. He hasn't gone into the details of how it's been accessed. Now, using the iOvation logs, you can actually see the times when uh, Audit Monster was, uh, or at least on, I don't know if it was used. Uh, you know, one of the top guys on here, the, the person who's screaming for blood, is this uh, trampoline. Trampoline. Uh, trampoline was taken for 177 Gs. Woman, Linda Bosco? Don't know it. No one? But you look at the list and the thing, I mean, it's just, uh, we see everybody that, uh, Lyle Murray's on here. Lyle uh, Murray's way up here, actually. Uh, somebody not on. So, uh, Robert Williamson, he's a big loser. 
Yeah, it's like a who's who of poker. These guys, yeah, you look at their accounts, like half of them are closed or totally have to play on the side and part of them know they got ripped off and stopped playing. But frankly, it's just a tragedy. Okay. It's just terrible. Give me an idea of a settlement process that you think you get the numbers. Just the, the, ideal thing, the, the ideal thing would be is if we, at this point, it seems like they know that the automobile thing, the ideal scenario, is like I'm pushing Greg to <laughs> come out and say, yes, the thing was used, but it was only not come out with any names. It may have to come out with a line like it was a former consultant to the company that had access. Mm -hmm. yeah. The biggest thing, though, know, is trying to limit this thing. It's so big, uh, saying it's like one of the biggest thefts ever. Okay. I know, like, they have, uh, you know, these shows on TV and stuff where they do these. Kind of guy tries to steal $100 and look blackjack in price. Well, no, they have serious money, you know. It's wow. broken into casinos and stolen by a million dollars. This guy is, like, one of the biggest crime frauds ever. So, uh, and the only, the only people who I think know the true extent of this thing, which scares me, if somebody told Tony, first of all, it's not incorrect, but the only people who have an idea of this number are probably Scott, so I haven't directly built anything else. Uh, even in theory, if they've added it up, I guess, that would gone to my other lawyers. I was Does Cookie know this? He doesn't know the Okay. Not even close. No, when I was, Cookie, I think, believed, initially he believed it was nothing. Now he thinks it's I think he believes it's. I tried. We tried not to alarm or tell Joe the full number. I think he's scared. He's like personally liable for the sole proprietorship owned by Joe. You know, he's right on the. You know, I mean, it, it affects him. Uh, what they, I think, what the other group is starting to think about is, my God, you know, how do we? Preserve well, why would this be any different than preserving absolute and UB if they just preserved AP for the same thing? It's only the power that's involved. They're helping out. But you're saying the number is lower, you think? What I'm, what I'm saying, this, is, this gets back to your question, the business is, you know, does the business want to do the right thing? Yes. Does, you know, is, the, is the business willing to look for any reasonable way to, to limit this? Absolutely. So if there are ways to, to, to based on that, based on winning percentages, based on, based on you know, correlation between violation data, whatever, if there's a way to say, you know, here's a significant percentage of it that, that that the business can say we're confident, there's no cheating involved. But here's some percentage that we don't know, so okay, we're going to reimburse players for. They're willing to do that. Is that a fair statement? Absolutely. So all wants to do anything he can to try to avoid. The so it's, you know, I mean, I don't know what you want to call that. It's it's something in between. It's it's not it's not taking the ultra high road, it's not saying fuck I'm not going to do anything, it's something in between. But the point is they're they're interested in coming up with reasonable arguments to minimize it. So that's and that's a big part of what violation is, is doing right now. But violation really just means myself and, and, and I'm having Tom Wins do some reports and stuff, so I just don't want to anything that Tom probably discovers we must assume we'll go to Hill, but that's probably okay. Uh, you know, we, we're, we to date we've been totally open with those guys. That'd be nice. Right now there yeah, there is this dimension I think because a couple times they've asked me directly, come on, man. Yeah, you know, well, I, I just yeah. want to address this. And yeah. looking back at it, there were instances, you know, that in our complex capsule, which were weird looking back at it, like when all these transfers had to be approved. Mm -hmm. I just remember Gail, like, saying, you know, don't even look at the transfers that Russ don't want to know what's going on there. Maybe it was just to protect, or maybe it was because they knew. Uh, I don't know. It's like, you know, if you go through something like this, and you just don't know what. Let's just go back and basic process. process seems from everything that, that I've heard so far, not having this blow up or a line. Because there's no one other than somebody who is out the atlas that wants to see this go public. Even that person is not way would not want to see it go public because they want money, they not want them. Right. So what is the procedure to get more formally agreed to then the process to solve the problem? But the magnitude drive, drive us. I'm asking is, how do we make people's interests fit together so that they can come up with a you know, problem solving solution set? You know, and it's something we, I mean, the first thing is, is we need to, but you've spoken to him, and he didn't deny making that all, but certainly we have to get to all these people again and emphasize we're talking about this with everybody. Everybody's aware that 
that would be completely quiet. I think I, th I think your question is a little different. I think your question is two. I mean, at least the way I think about this, there's two kind of separate and somewhat independent things going on. There's the other than that list. You know, everyone interested in minimizing whatever the action is underway and 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 uh, uh, lots and lots of time, energy. You know, trying to figure that out. Then there is the you know. Not wanting to, no, again, that was decided, not wanting this to blow up and, and what's happening there. And that's what I want to talk about. That's, that's the other thing I want to talk about. Because the other, the other thing is more just The list that's there is probably all accurate. But the list of people that have complained is very small. Right. It doesn't have to go back as far as you're going back to. I don't know what you're doing or what you have to do. Yeah. So the worry, so. What they've done is uh, essentially they, they've looked at accounts that are very obvious. Essentially, I think 10 that are public account forms mentioned. I, I they, they have a total number of 14 that they've looked at. 14 player accounts? 14, yeah. Accounts that they've used the audit monster. Okay, fine. So, so there's a process to minimize whatever it costs. Well, that's, the, separate, that's the damage mitigation process. Right. Okay. Which, which we can talk about just to understand it, but it's really more informational and it's, again, other than that group, I'll be on the same page with, with minimize. But then there's the keep this from being a big story. That's and that's the, that's the main reason for, for wanting to talk today is what's, you know, what's, what's the attitude of, of folks involved. And so this is what I was mentioning at lunch is clearly I sure as hell don't want this to become, you know, a big issue. Obviously, Russ doesn't, Dan, Dan doesn't, Jim does. So, but ultimately, the, the person who's even if it's an issue, it's a scandal. And just the key thing is, it's scandals they come over. Look what AP did. They grow as soon as the right. scandal's over. So, I mean, even announcing scandal, the way is to come out with a message that works. I think we could do that. So, so what I want so to get an update on. Without revealing who, who it is without revealing... What you've got to do, Dan, is not reveal who it is. Because if you reveal who it is, then it just blows up everything and everybody. Oh, I agree. Completely. I agree. None of us want it. So you said something when you walked in here that, that scared the shit out of me about, about Joe Norton's attitude. And so let's talk about that. Well, Joe, and, Joe is a very proud guy. You know, honor is critical. He doesn't think there's anything wrong with him. I mean, he, just, he doesn't feel like, even though he's in this weird situation where the U.S. thinks that he doesn't think that there's anything wrong, the most important thing, issue is honor. So, uh, so he got his number down to a number, and the number was paid back, and Norton's group or something got paid something. Well, John doesn't need to be paid, but that KG Gaming Commission. So that you were talking about? Joe will need to be satisfied that the players that were affected were uh, some explanation on uh, how it happened. I think we'll be able to deal with them. I don't. I just think that uh, uh, I do think they'll think that a piece of it is his accountability. They're, they're saying that this should all be on Nick Scaps' shoulders, and frankly, I agree that Nick Scaps should pay a lot. Just because they have the money, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's the real reason. Uh, but, uh, uh, but for money that was directly taken out by, like, withdrawn by Bonnie, I mean, what the heck, what happened? Just, uh, I mean, this thing is sort of been, I think, used as your biggie bank in some time. We've discussed that, Greg, can you tell you, or I can tell you, I mean, it's real obvious what, I mean, some of it was used for players on the site, which still, to, you can go back and look, crazy Canuck, staked UB players, Freddie D, when he was part of it until you guys got in there all that. So there was a lot of things that got used for for sending players to Aruba for your tournament. Uh, in Europe, well, let's, let's just leave it at that. Um, it got used for a, a lot of the money got taken out for put into the other company and did get used for that. You're right. Uh, but, if there, you know, frankly, it doesn't... Uh, who was Mansour's knowledge of this? None. Zero. Not until last night. I talked to him for the first time. The very first time. But there, you had told me that there were times that you'd, you'd, feed or you'd pay for him. That was just nothing. Yeah, yeah, that was nothing. Munster had no knowledge of this at all. So I don't, Munster should not even be brought into this. He had no knowledge until last night. Nothing. So what I want to talk about is what are the options for going to Joe and saying the, 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 the minimizing the damage piece. At this point, that seems kind of 
trivial and easy and just a lot of work. Um, and and uh, uh, making sure as few people as possible know and all that's a little trickier, but also just work. So then there's going to be, I think, a decent story. This is exactly what happened. We, you know, we know precisely what happened. It was closed. This can't happen again. Um, you know, here's the people impacted, and and it's going back, right? So now, how do we? What, what are the options for, for for paying it back to create incentive for this Joe guy to say, hey, we don't disclose this because there's a chance of getting this thing back. So what are those options? So one option was I wanted to go through that list and see if are there individuals on that list, regardless of of what of what it turns out to be, right? That, that list adds up to some big number, which we're trying to minimize, right? So the amounts aside, because the amounts might be different, depending how you slice it, it's possible that for an individual person, the amount's actually more, right? But overall, the overall number goes down if you start limiting it. But anyway, so the, the, the amounts aside, are there individuals on that list that for whatever reason you say, the business shouldn't pay that? If you only look at plus, don't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's something to that. Let me just take a look at the list. But if they were to uh, come to the business and say, pay me. Are you talking about people here that, that I think that would even have any idea at all? No, I'm saying that, that, that the, how do I say this? The business, the business. Is this all the same sheet we're all looking at here? Oh, okay. The business says, if we. Do you want me to check names of piece of people I think should be reimbursed here? No. Is that better? I want you to see if there's anyone on that list that you say the business should not pay this person for whatever reason. Either because uh, you, you, you personally say that, hey, they're not coming back, and if they do, I'll deal with it. Because you There's a lot of these on here, whether you guys believe it or not, that were played and won without ever using that thing. A lot of times. And, and, right. and so... No, and that's a helpful thing, because hopefully we can... So, for, so first of all, so, so I know that, and that's a lot of the work that I'm doing is to try to line up of the, you know, there's thousands of play sessions involved, right? So what I'm trying to do is exclude play sessions that there was no audit tool being used. That's what there I was doing. There was a six-month period through there to where it didn't even work, and Travis just got it working. And I told you guys in Costa Rica how to repair the way to stop it. And I'm not sure if they did, but about four months ago, it quit. So I would assume that that's what they did. I don't, I don't think you think it quit. Well, I don't know, but the code wasn't removed until recently. Not the code. It's just a thing that wouldn't have All you had to do time. if you forced them to take an upgrade. If they, if they didn't, if they weren't oh, forced oh, to take okay. an upgrade, which I told them in Costa Rica. So I don't know that. But, but my, my point here is, look, the business, regardless of whether someone's... Who shouldn't get paid back is what you're saying. Yeah, because of it, either a personal relationship or, or for whatever reason, you just know that... Yeah, is this the customer balance, available customer balance right here? I don't. I don't know. Just look at the. Yeah, thing. that happens to just be what their balance was as of that date. That's what how much money they have in the UB account. This is what they have over here. Yeah. Third column. Is a so what you want me to say? What like is like somebody like let's say that. Uh, Let me say it a different guy. way. If the, right. if the business thinks that it needs to reimburse, pick a number, four million bucks, right? Mm -hmm. But you say for whatever reason, I Russ take responsibility for that person, that person, that person, that person, for whatever reason because you know them, personal relationship, because you're going to take care of a different way, whatever. But then that's a liability that the business doesn't have to take care of, and that reduces their liability. That's the same thing as giving them money. Follow so, No. Okay. Let's, let's, say, let's, say, like, let's say, like, Fred Davis. I, I understand what you're saying. Like Fred David's on this list? But if he were, you would say, geez, take him off the take list. Take him off the list. list I'll talk to him. If he Freddie Deeb is on the list, Paul. Freddie Deeb is on the list. So Pretty deep is on the list here for what? Fifty-two thousand dollars. For losing? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Freddie Deep lost money to me. That's what it says. I would lose money to Freddie Deep when I go in here just to give him money to play with. It's got to be impossible. Right. But so listen to what so listen to what this is. This isn't every session ever played with those players. This is the sessions that are suspicious that are that they suspect cheating was involved. Right. So so it's not every session ever played. But if yeah, it's in that scenario where you may have dumped chips to them. There's a lot of applications. There. This is just a just a vial, bait sort. 
as opposed to what do you mean by duplication? Same there might be some, mm -hmm. some names, but that's just a player has multiple accounts. That would mean a player has multiple accounts. Okay. It's good if they have reading glasses. Sorry. Right. I Nobody? Have Nobody have reading glasses? Just the ones I'm wearing Okay. Do I have to mark these now or do I? I'm just, you know, there's a couple ways to do this. I mean, we can literally go. It's mainly. Well, but like Lyle Berman, Lyle Berman's never going to complain about anything. Freddie Davies never going to complain about anything. So I can go through and check those right off the bat. And so, what? Just for sake of discussion, if 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 we said if, if the business says to Joe, hey, uh, Travis or whatever the story is, is going to person take responsibility for Freddie? Davies. So therefore, that's that's if if the business was going to have to pay him fifty thousand, and and now they don't, that's like getting fifty thousand cash, right? Well, just for sake of discussion, what happens if Freddie Deep comes back in a year and says, give me money? What should the business say? Why would, the business say the why would Freddie Deep come back to you and say in a year? He would come know. back and say he thinks he got cheated or something? Yeah. Okay. That's what you're saying. So in that scenario, we'd just be like, no, we're not getting paid. You speak to us. We have to deal with it. So there might be no one on this list. So is it, I mean, but these numbers that you're talking about here, like, let's just look at, say, uh, Mahatma, okay? This 360000 does that mean he lost it to my account or he lost it in the game I was in? Lost it to you. So, yeah, so let's back up and talk about what these numbers are. So, Sandy, you'll, you, you, I want you to, to explain this so that cause you're, the, you're the numbers guy. Well, okay. But I don't understand what the business is, what the business is doing is they're trying to minimize whatever this potential liability is. So if they suspect me of cheating and Dan loses money to you at the table, that doesn't count. But they're, they're only looking at, at, in the hands played throughout a session, net amounts that move between that player and others. So if Dan lost to Sandy, that doesn't count. They're only looking at money. So well, if, that if you're Mahatma, and I'm Neo Neo. And that's Sandy and that's Dan. I'll be out at Monsters. I'm not even playing. Just no, no, you're you're Dan and you're Sandy and you're you're um, Mahatma. Right. I'm Neo Neo and I'm playing. And he beat you for a hundred thousand this session. That, that's not held against you. So it's only what I beat you for. Right, correct. But it doesn't show that I lost to these well, other yes, two. This is the net. This is so the net. if there's a session, so let me let me So suppose Mahatma shows three hundred thousand. That means, look, let me just say this a different yeah, way. Yeah, that's exactly right. Here, here's it's possible that you actually lose me. Yeah, and look, it's not there are cases where there are losses when they know. Say that again now? There are cases where Neil Neil lost money in a session. Yeah. And they know that the audit tool was being used. They want to consider that because that lowers their liability okay. because that player lost money back to, 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 to Okay. Play. When there's a win, it's the they're only looking at the net win for the Neo Neo account. So if 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 the uh, if Neo Neo broke even in a play session and during that session where in fact that audit account was watching, this player lost fifty thousand to that player, that doesn't count. It's so only a place where it can be a um, um, uh, uh, where it can be a multiplier it is your neo neo. Okay, let's say you lose fifty thousand to Greg, win fifty thousand from me. Mm -hmm. and those are the only times that we play with it against you mm -hmm. in our whole lives. Yeah. In that so scenario, counts with minus exactly. You'd have to repay Greg. But right. You can't get the money back from me. This, this is not a total because movement. Analysis. So it's the, the, so the real number of win is not as much as it shows there though. The real number wins way bigger than this because there are many many sessions where they where there was where where there was winning, but they're not looking at it because they're confident that there wasn't cheating involved. And I'm trying to add sessions to that to that list to make this number even smaller. But it could be what your point was is that it could be uh, there are scenarios where you could break even, you know, Neo could break even, yet they're still okay. in that hall. Plus, plus, plus and the, then the reason is that you can't take back money from some innocent player. But that's but, the win from the cheater. Right, but this is but this is thousands of sessions. So the only way that that doesn't get reduced is if there's never another session with that player where that, you know where it goes back and it nets out. I think I'm better if I go through here and check people that I think you should pay. 
So there's that many you think you're just going to take responsibility for? I don't know what you mean by taking responsibility. I don't think that the other people on our ship will come back and say anything. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if they do... It's players that I know that are chatting on, on, uh, out there now, that are active players, that are chatting, that I know are talking, that play and are still current, and the other ones I don't think, like, even though Freddie Deep's still active, he's not going to say anything anyway. He's not going to come back and say what you So I'm not trying to say this any differently. I, I, I was... There's, 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 only, there's only two ways to, to, to pay it back, right? One is to reduce their liability, i.e. Take, take responsibility. I'm, I'm confused what you're saying. So you're wanting me to check players and I'm going to go tell them I, I owe money? Is that what you want me to tell them? No. Well, I want you to, if, the, if, if there's I, a player on here, like Freddie D would be a good example. And he was to come back and say, I want money, or I come back and send an email that I want money, then I'd be responsible for that later. Then what we would say is, uh, we'd say is, no, we don't think so. Uh, okay. No, because we the corporate, maybe we could say, you know, we thought it was a suspicious play or something. And then we'd say, talk to us. Right. You just have Why to would you it. say, talk to us, though? Whatever the message is. Okay. But the point is, is that the business ends up not... I understand, but tell me what you... Why would you say, talk to... What would, what would I, don't know what the, I don't know what the message would be. But if a player in the future okay. came to the business and said, what the fuck, I'm reading all this stuff in the internet. Okay, I, I played with them. them. I, I have I to understand. understand whatever. I, understand. I lost my payment. I understand. Do you have dates on here, too, or not? The, this is just a summary. So a summary. Really, new places because I can't see this. Okay, so, so let me take this with me because I just can't do it here. Unless you give me reading, you want that? I, I don't want to go out anywhere. Yeah, I don't want to copy this. Well, what am I going to do wrong with it? What do you think I'm going to send it out? No, but what if you lose it? I'm not going to lose it. But I guess let's first get to this. I guess the primary thing here is that. Uh, First, we're trying, obviously, regardless of where we go, we're trying to minimize this thing to the absolute lowest we can. It's still going to be a large amount of money. More money than the business is just willing to fork out. So, is trampoline a, wo a woman? Apparently. At least the name's under a woman. Yeah. I don't know. The account name is Linda Bosco. Wait, I got it. No, I have no clue. She must be. Or he's playing under his wife's name or something. So, so one thing that we could do is... Are these all starting with the highest numbers and coming down big? Because I can't, really can't see that. Look, let me just go fix this. So either we don't do this part and we, and, and we look at other ways. Um, or we just take a break and I'll run back to the office. And, and Do I have that electronically now? Okay. So why don't I just go across the street and right. print out just the names, nothing else on it. In, in like 50,000 point font so Russ can read it. Just right. the names and nothing else. I'd like to see what he's on here. Okay. You know this. I don't think you'd need the uh, active or the... I do need that too. I'd like to see that. Whatever. Okay, I mean, this is actually trimmed down. We've got more stuff. You know, this is just the things that I thought... What else do you have? have? All sorts of stuff. Like, uh, I don't know what else. It's a big list. You know, just, uh, well, whatever. But those are the... It's just obvious what to select and print, right? I think they have the date that, uh, some dates on there. I just get a pair of glasses. It's a lot easier than you run over doing it, isn't it? I mean, you have got enough here in the, in the store upstairs. So, anyway. Good point for us to come up and say it. I don't think I've got a check in. The only way that that would apply is to somehow they discovered that the book in the server that allows this. Discovered the server mistake. Right. They've also discovered which account takes advantage of the mistake. And they have times now when this account logged in. So for us to come out and say the ideal, look at this account, there's no cheating. Uh, it's going to be tough to sell. Now on the other hand, I think if what, if what we can do is to say we've studied it. We know that sometimes it was used, sometimes it was not. 
these are these limited times are the times it was used. These people are being refunded. Uh, and whatever the story is in the end, uh, reports from somebody like McAvoy are going to have to back the story. So you know we're going to have to say in there after we determine. What's the explanation for the person asking the question? And you must have asked the question yourself. For a third party to have had access to this tool. I don't think we can, in the end, I don't think we can say that it was a third party. Say that there was a consultant that had knowledge of the code. Uh, it's, uh, and he hacked into the system. You're an expert. Hacked into the system, took an advantage of this. And say that, uh, uh, similar to the last one. Here's what, I told, here's, here's what I told Greg this morning. Travis, do you know Travis, my guy? Travis is willing to say that he did all this for me. He hacked it. So he, he actually is the one that fixed it. It was broken. He actually is the one that... And he's willing to say that he even went as far as to call up Freddie Deeb and say, Russ wants you to cash this because he was like... He, everybody knows he does everything for me. He does my airline tickets, my schedules, he does my he does everything. So if he was to call Freddie and say, Freddie, Russ wants to send you some money to cash or Bonnie, he wants to send you some so he's willing to say that he did this himself. So he, the only person that he might have to say it to is the KGC. He would. He wouldn't want to say that to the work. No, you don't want to say that to work because they would know who Travis is a lot of people. Right. So no what this is is just that's the explanation for the KGC in Norton. Say we've identified the guy. Uh, I think for the public, it just has to be former consultant to the company, uh, took advantage of a server flaw by hacking in the client, been able to identify exactly when sometimes he played with it, sometimes he played without it. Sometimes he intentionally won and sometimes he intentionally lost. Very erratic play. But we've been able to identify the times when the tool was up and their net wins. And what you could also say is that the tool was originally set for a 15-minute delay, and he hacked, he hacked it to a, a, to, to, a real time. Yeah, to a real time. You no, can. I think that's what we do. It, no. was, it was originally because Annie Duke used it on a 15-minute delay quite a few times. But uh, in the end, well, but in the end, though, there'd be a refund. So what we were asking you in this exercise is not to say that you're going to pay these people but to identify the people that you know well enough that you can explain it away to them if they were ever to assert a claim against us. Okay. Like if they were ever to send I understand. an email. I understand. And what you would say is, if when I say talk to us, it wouldn't be that you're involved. It's just that, yeah, I founded this thing with Greg. This is what happened. Uh, you know, friends to the company aren't, we're not getting, you know, I didn't take any money back even though I was owed money. And, uh, I mean, that's part of the story is that I think, Russ, you have to be owed something here. Because, I mean, you play at these high-stakes tables. So, I mean, this thing has to have ripped you off, too. It has mm -hmm. to have. So, uh, otherwise, it's not going to fly. And, uh, uh, and we can pick off the story for each what person. Do you, what do you, how do you think this money, if, you, if it's supposed it's a 5 million, which Greg thinks it could be right around 5 million, if you had to pay the players and give KG, what is it, KG KGCC? If we can get it down to 5, I'd be happy. And, and how does the money get paid? Uh, well, it, I mean, we'll convince the business to pay some mm -hmm. straight off the top. Just because of, the, you know, that's... It's CAPSA or AP, are you talking about? No, I'm talking about the business that's running the company right now. Norton's business. AP or EUP? I'm confused. It's, well, it's combined now. It's combined, okay. Right, you know, the operator, the new enterprise. I don't think they're responsible for anything. They're not. But nonetheless, we're going to... This is a damage mitigation. Yeah. But I don't think they're responsible for it. I agree. So I, I don't think they're responsible for it. Well, no, I, they're not morally responsible. However, they did buy this business. When they bought it, they, you, know, you always take a risk when you buy a business. Plus, they've made money... Here's, on, here's what I feel. They've made money off the combined business for a year. They have. They can pay some of it just straight up. They can pay some, but here's what I feel. I feel, and I, and I did take this money, and I'm not trying to make it right, Dan, so we've got to get that out of the way right, real quick, okay? Uh, I did use a lot for stuff that you don't realize on here for the company that was paid for. I, told I you mean, I mean crazy me Canuck, up until I, I quit working four months ago, you can go look at his account. I staked him on every tournament to wear ultimate bet gear. And he played all over the country for you guys. 
I didn't have him out there playing for me. Right. I mean, even Will called me up four months ago. He says, Rush, you quit staking uh, Crazy Canuck. He goes, do you think we should still sponsor him? And I thought, you know, if he's not going to play tournaments, I said, no, I, I wouldn't need to hire him anymore. But I had him up there wearing your stuff. When Freddie Deep, up until the time that you... The yes, other, I know. Yeah, I understand. So there's a yeah, lot of stuff. That yeah. There's, there's, a, lot of, here's, there's a lot of guys that I gave money to that, that it shows me winning that I actually would send them 100000 and say, I'm going to stake you. Not caring if they want to lose, just to get them to play in the big games. Right. So I would send a, a guy a hundred thousand or fifty thousand. I'm, I'm, I said a hundred. I'd send t- twenty-five or twenty or ten or this to a lot of people. So a lot of these numbers is not all numbers that came out cash. Maybe cash. I don't know. Maybe seven million. I don't know. You'd, you'd have to tell me that. I don't know. But Bonnie didn't get as much as Greg said here. Cash. Freddie Deeb got the most cash. Also, the Fred and Bonnie together. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's what, that's what I said. Bonnie maybe got, Freddie got the majority of it. I don't know who got it off. Yeah, Freddie Deem. Freddie Deem got uh, the majority. Now, Paul is convinced that Carolyn is involved. Piercy, only She's the, not. And only because the entries on all these things. I know. So, and uh, here's the thing with Travis. Travis, could, Travis would call Carolyn. Us. Travis would call Carolyn and say, Russ wants you to change your name. Right. Well, and Carolyn was... Say, yeah. But Paul thinks that Carolyn was Really? Why? Let me say why. Because that shows that Scaps is responsible. Because Carolyn worked for Jim. Carolyn was one of Jim's DDs. So. Hello, it's a good. Hey, Tim. Uh, I'm in a meeting. Anything important? Tell me. Tell me. What, what, tell me. Great. I love that. Thanks, Johnny. Right. Say that again. I, I'm sorry. I, I was Miami. There, there's a one. Miami John. I had him where you think you're right here. This guy. But, you know, so I just... No, I know. And that. Andy and Russell, Phil, you've got to I understand. I just, you paid some of it. You paid some yourself. You got in trouble, I think, for it. They yelled at you. Greg called me at first and yelled at me. But I spent like $100,000 to put him on that golf thing on TV that with the UB stuff. Let him, I didn't have him wear UB to your name. He wore UB. So I spent a lot of this money here on things for people out there. I did pay him. Okay, I'm just trying to, but, Russ, I know okay. you. Okay. I mean, you helped a lot of people who needed the money with this. And, frankly, I think if you go back far enough, suspicions as to what was sanctioned, what wasn't, is when the company was in real bad shape. It's we won't have to go back to somehow. Yeah, so we won't. But, uh, uh, but anyway, no, the reason that it's not bad for Carolyn is because uh, not, it's not bad for this whole, in the big picture, for Carolyn's name to be brought out there because it shows that his gaps is responsible. She was a VP there. Uh, in order to get to Excaps' money legally, they almost, they almost have to show fraud because they've gone through this clean bar process to get all these other things. Well, we're looking at two aspects of it first about back for the audit monster not being disclosed to the body. Right. Well, yeah, that as well. And then but Jim Ryan, the fact. Jim Ryan knew that. Jim Ryan knew it was there. Didn't know what it had to be used for, but he knew it was there. And he hid that from Yuri. Jason obviously was told not to tell Yuri about this. Jason went through the entire code base with Yuri. Yuri said the place where it was in the code was in an unusual place. Uh, anyway, but so, yeah, no, so to get, to shift the responsibility to its NAFSA, which is my sort of goal, that unfortunately they're the only people who have the money to benefit from this. I mean, the reason that Russ, if this was used to support the props and to increase liquidity, Scaps have got the benefit of that. I mean, you got 100%. You got, you know, no one's going to say It was that. in the beginning, Dan. Yeah, that's what it was. I, mean, sure I, I don't want to say that in front of Greg because it's just not right. But Why else would it be in real time? Yeah. But I mean, later it's on. Audit, audit function. There's no and some was, and some at the end, and there would have been no Scaps. So they've got to understand they'd have never had a company to take public for 400 million. But anyway, so how do you feel that the money, here's what I think. 
Well, I th- can I tell you what I think? The business has to just pay some. Can I tell you what I think? To pay some. And I feel I have to pay some. So I have to probably pay some. Uh, That's exactly what I said today. I, I feel exactly the same thing. I feel that ex is the deal that they make now with AP, what they're paying for the year, should be less. The shareholders don't know that the deal was for marketing or what, but it should be less. That's ex capsa. It doesn't take anything out of the permanent stuff up there. It just takes the payments they're supposed to pay this year less. Some should be paid, I think, by Greg. If some should be paid by me. That's what I think. But I think some, though, no, we have AP. To. I mean, all four. I feel like some should be paid out of ex capsa's coffers right now. Well, what, shouldn't it, wouldn't that be the same thing as making the payments? Because they're just the problem is that we don't that business doesn't have the cash flow that. Oh, you know, okay. The cash up problem. But they don't have a coffer that you can get. The money's not out. Can they? They can't take it out. We have to do some sort of settlement. They, as, you know, that's basically what Sandy was saying. On this this is exactly. But this is Sandy. Sandy. I'm listening. I want you to listen and, and listen, and not as as my friend or whatever. But as an attorney, Dan, is this not basically what I was telling Greg before when we met? Well, I think you guys were having lots of discussions, and I think you may have said that, but I'm not sure that I was present when you did. Okay. Okay. What what Dan and I have just discussed is a concept. But let me, Dan. Right. I got to tell you. This. Okay. There's a concept called joint and several liability. Yeah. The three of us are are, in a, are, are are engaged in an action that causes damage to a third party. Yes. We were in a partnership. It's a general yes. partnership. Munster had no knowledge of so much. You know that. The last I time I called him last, it, I left him a message. He called me at really? one o'clock in the morning. I was just wanted to tell him that one more time. Damage to the third party is a hundred dollars. Collectively, we're on the hook for a hundred dollars, but it's not thirty-three three dollars and thirty-three cents a piece. Whoever has the hundred dollars, and then there's rights of contribution between us. Between us, but the fact is, is that the enterprise owes the hundred dollars. And what Dan is saying, unless I missed you, co- missed, understood you completely, is that X Capsa owns a piece of the liability. It's got fifty million dollars sitting in cash. It not only can, it should make a contribution to buy peace and let the rest sort itself out between the parties. And, and Dan, listen, I want you to... Okay, no, well, I, don't I, I, want to talk to, I want to talk to Dan Private anyway. I understand your position here, Russ. You don't have $16 million in the bank, and I put all your money and put it into your company. It's in your position. You can't... But I think you're going to get it down in... I think you're going to get it down into the 5 to $6 to $7 million. Here's the one thing I want to say. What I did was wrong. It doesn't matter. I did use it in the game, but we would have never had a business if we had, no matter if anybody saw or anything like that, okay? But let's forget that because some people don't want that brought up. Probably shouldn't be. I don't care. But I will tell, I don't know who you have to talk to, whether Hilt or Scott or who or what down there. I'll help, I'll help pay some of this money out of my ex of money, too. I did what I did wrong. ex I think, owes some of this money, though, because it was part of their... Uh, they originally... They, they had this thing. They used it. I Jim Ryan was aware of it, didn't make him aware of it, didn't make Fury aware of it. So I think there's some responsibility for all of us. But I, want these, I don't want these guys to be to the point to where they don't even want to talk to me again, because I'll, I'll give these guys... I, got, I just got the other day a 1.4 million list from a guy from Europe, all European players. I can't use it. I can use it for my stuff, but it's all good. You don't, well, something. Yeah. If we so, get through this, everybody will still be fine. Okay. But, uh, the key thing is it's for us to get through it. You know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I feel like part of the story has to be that it has for some of the people is that uh, you were taking it. You were. I don't, you know, I so, saw a list that I won $200,000 with my name on a sheet. I don't think I've won on the site. I don't think Russ Hamilton's a winner. I mean, everybody told me I saw a sheet. For, no, our Hamilton has been, they've cleared that. They're not looking at our Hamilton. But it's enough losses. I thought Russ Hamilton was a loser on the site, but I thought the enemy's a winner. Russ Hamilton is a loser on the site, I think. He might be an overall winner, but it's, oh. the good news is his bad account, Paul, is, yeah. says that there's enough in there that we don't have to bring it out. Yeah. But... Yeah. Now, he Curtis's account, H. Curtis, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem right now. But I uh, bet uh, you don't want to come out and never mention that name, obviously. No, you don't. Um,
but our Hamilton is at least not being. I think I think you can clear the H. Curtis account you can because a lot of people know him. That's his name. Helmut knows him. And he knows him and they know the name on the screen. But he's a big stakes player in California. He's a huge stakes player. He plays in all the big games with, you know, Ben Affleck. I'm not going to put all the guys over there. You know, uh, Toby McGuire. Affleck's on here. Yeah, I know. Affleck's on here? Yeah. Yeah, well, he owes the company like a half a million anyway, doesn't he? Doesn't he, do? Yeah, he does. Most of this is small amounts. Well, so anyway, my strategy at this point is just to try to lower the number as much as possible. But I do think we're heading to for us to try to argue that uh, do you, do you think we can do you think we can work this down to a number to where we can give the refund and give the KGC to where they don't bring names because the names could destroy yes and the names could destroy everybody I mean the company this what I tried to tell Greg if the names come out it's going to go back a lot farther than 2005, and Excapsa could lose this whole 52,000 or whatever it's 47 million. 47 no I agree no one has any interest in the name to me. You've given thought to the worst case scenario, I sure have. No, I have too. And from Wednesday on, I think. No, we'll be watching TV. I don't know if I I've got a call in right now. I'll call you right back. Can I talk to you just for a second? Russ, I need to talk to Dan for a second. Please. Is tomorrow okay? Uh, okay, because what originally he had done to me is he had told me. Okay, I know, but he had, but yeah, I know, but he had told me ten o'clock his secretary sent me. Then he called me yesterday and said, "Well, it's the early show, seven thirty or something." So that's where the confusion was. So that's what I'm trying to get corrected. Let me, I'll take care of it and I'll call you back yourself. Thank you. Jack, it's Russ. Give me a call. We can talk to you. Okay, so basically, Greg, uh, is this my drink? Summarize. Well, I'll talk to you before. What we've done through this was a bad shaker. Look, I know we're. Can get everything else on here? Put this one on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what else is there? Oh, oh active, 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 active. Who cares? Is the amount balance oh, and stuff? Is there a count balance straight there? Oh, this is their milk. Okay, this is different. Okay. The only thing that's not on there is the active status of. Okay. Okay. So anyway, what we went through was the fact that uh, Russ, you know, agreed. Obviously, this is wrong. He's personally benefited from some of it, but a large portion, and the great portion, went to other people who helped the scientists with these things. So that's. I, I didn't say the largest portion. That's, that's not true. A, a lot of it did. A lot of it did. Okay. And uh, also, with this thing went, you know, we're lucky that we're kind of not the date where it is. And you send us at lunch. So, you know, back days as you could go back further, and that would be back. This could be decreased. Her Herschel's yeah. never going to say a word, so I'm lucky, and that's 100000 Hmm? Herschel. Well, anyway, to explain what this is, is that if these guys were to call us somehow or other, can talk we'd be to able me. to call them. Absolutely. We'd call you, and then yeah. you'd say, I'll call, call them up. How we can deal with them. Now, one thing that Sandy was pointing out is that, look, you know, no one check is for him to realize that if he, this thing were really to blow up, it would be more than Russ. Argument that uh, Carolyn would have known about it if we didn't have some monies. All the monies. Critical not to, you know, it's all. Plus, it would be such a good story. You know, that's the thing that people love to read. Whatever the amount is. Any number over a million dollars is ever just needs to be whatever the generic. What, what you should do is you should here's what's causing all the chat. Because only one statement's ever been made, and that was we've hired someone to look at these histories. That's it, and they've never. It took a long time to get that, and they've never said anything since. If someone would just put a statement out there that 
just to give you an update, we're you know you, you have to give them some kind of an update. No, they all is pounding us to give us a, give an update. I mean, and it's critical that you I give them an update so they stop all their chatter. And I think a good person to give an update to is this trampoline through Helmut, because this trampoline calls Helmut a lot. Even in the chat on the chat rooms, it says, I've called Phil Bay's in Europe right now. So if Phil would just say, you have to give us some time, post it on the boards, they're taking care of it, and they're working hard at going through every one of these accounts. Trampoline will go out and give you a good report. I don't know him to tell him, but Phil will do it. Yeah, Phil is the absolute worst possible person on the planet to ever be even remotely close to this. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that I don't know how this person ever got a hold of, of Phil, but Phil is just the absolute worst. That's how the whole thing started with complaints to Phil. Through his, I'm, I'm Phil Holman. You know, he can be controlled and explained away. Who's Scott Manasau? Is that Gender Mike Manasau? Must be his mm-hmm. brother. Clinton's on that list and some Manasau's on that list. Robert, Robert Williamson, you can take off it here. It's going to take some convincing to get uh, Jim to participate. It's something I want to talk to you about. Mm-hmm. How are we going to do that? Don't, don't bury it. But I, but I, but I just, my sense of, maybe enough about this stuff and the way he handled it, I don't want to I don't just think that that's great. And just saying, okay, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. And now he's just going to do the field and it's going to be my hair. So, it could be a bigger, a way bigger than I'm going to be able to wait about. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting this again. You and I had this argument at lunch, and I just don't want to have this argument with you. You and I disagree about something. Well, we're you not. When we talk it. different about the different things you walked away, we're not talking about. Yeah, I don't know. So, we're, we're, everything we're not talking about that. We just have different opinions. I think you're responsible for a certain piece. Don't get mad. I'm exhausting. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is we can't seem to get on the same page. You, you think you should be taking in his boots? And no, I don't up. think that. Okay. I think he should realize, though, that he's responsible for something here. Except that he has to be responsible for something. Yeah, I'll yeah. argue that for, for the rest of the night. I don't think Jim Ryan should be quaking in his boots at all. I think he, I think Excaps was responsible for something. I didn't, I'm not saying he should be quaking in his boots. But if he digs his heels in and he starts acting like a three-year-old child, I mean, it's wrong. All I'm saying is, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It's, you know, Jim's, I agree, it's t- he's tough to copy. This guy right here. I mean, I think that the way here's, here's that you know, know, you know, you consider it, and you hate the approach, the sledgehammer approach. Yeah, I know. You, you, you know you here's a guy that, that here's a guy that sent twenty thousand and still owes twenty thousand, and you, but you got him one down stuck here. So I mean, where you go, the guy like that, and that's never paid. And Thank you. He owes money. So I guess you know. The big question is: Are they, are these people going to come to the company and ask for their share? And if they do. And we somehow just say, well, uh, I'm marking, I'm just going to leave him there. It doesn't matter. I don't know if it matters. Right? Lee Salem. This guy fucking owes me $85,000. I let me put it, well, give it to him on the site to play with. He owes 34. He owes me 85000 He's never paid it. So, I mean, I'm just going to mark him off, Lee Salem. He don't even, I don't even think he plays anymore. Right now, the south. I've never even heard of some of these names. You sure I've played with these people? I've never even heard of a lot of them. Well, look, so, so the answer is 100% yes. But again, what, what we're trying to do is, is based on the snare stuff and detailed hand history, there's not sessions that say, but what wasn't used in that session, so it can't be considered. So, and all that gets pared down. This list is like, whatever, 1,200 things long, right? Yeah. 1,200 names. So, when some sessions get pulled out of it, A, likely going to be a list smaller than 1,200. B, it's entirely possible that there are some player balances in there that... Do you leave Phil Helmuth in here, or do you take him out? Phil is guaranteed to say that I was cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... They, they I'm actually pleased yeah. that the number's so small. I think it's fine. Only 30 grand. So, I worry that it's we can't... I don't think we can say it. Okay. Phil comes so, it's quite good to Phil. I think, I think you're absolutely... Probably need Gross Hamilton in here. I think the story has to be that you've been refunded so much. Freddie here, it's his, it's his wife. Well, 
whatever this list looks like, that's what they care about. How do you say Paul ever asked about and I'm being a refund or a lot of or whatever. They they gotta they gotta know that. This is the way we go right up to Paul. Okay. Here's here's one that says I beat for twenty two thousand. That's me. That's my own account. So that could be That's an old account I had that I played that I was out there playing years ago. So so you had to have been playing at a table with one of the other accounts. Yeah, I have to be playing playing with uh, I don't know how, but I never ever put two players together at one table ever. That's never good. Can we look at the cheating account that's do it that's sticking out? Never never good. This one right here. Never played at a table with two people. Uh, well just um, I've been playing this table with two people. How how that how exactly that got on the list right? Right, 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 right on there, just right next that clipped on the top, but uh Well I'll put the asterisk right here. Yeah, I got enough. Play, yeah. Uh never play it. Yeah. So what that says is maybe when you come on the fourteen and he says that isn't me. Well that'd be nice. There is some on the 14s, not me. I saw the names out there that you guys have got. That's why we'd be good to send some of That's why if you send some of those histories to me to do it and let Tom do those, they're good. I told you guys. Oh, they're 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 here, here, wait a minute. Here's some of the names. They have a... What? All the ideas. Okay. But, uh, but that's what Jack... It could be that one of the winning accounts that these they, right here, these yeah. names I never heard of before. Easy Champ they had out there, Three Will Hog, I Want Money One Two Two Two. I never heard of them. Uh, I keep going because maybe there's another thing that will help find some. Don't forget what they're doing. Our is goal is to they don't it. understand what's going on. What they're doing is they're looking at any connection by all those things that I mentioned. So it's possible that it's a connection made by. IP address that, you know, IP addresses recycle. Or it could be even, let's say, some legitimate play coming from the IP address you normally use, somebody at your office that somehow got thrown into it. That or someone logs into someone logs into one of your office computers. Devilfish, leaving on here, that's good. Huh? What have you come? That's, that, that's kind of the criteria. Yeah, the big, big criteria is if he comes, can you deal with them? Yes. And cross and then put an X there. We don't, we don't know what the story is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. 20,000. These are all small figures. Or not. These are all 10,000, 15,000. These are, these are all small figures. These are the ones that they think are part of the winning rings. One thing that looks bad on this is the you know the way that pitch names. That's another thing that's showing this to take one account and put them out. So what I'm confused about is this is oh I see previous one and two okay so it's no oh, boy, it's a joke he's a loser total through the years I think that's I mean, good then that means that there's a lot of people in there. I mean I know it is. The question is is there is there somebody on this list that you have no clue what it is? Or, no, I, really the question is is on that. Are there names on the list that never were used with the audit monster? Right. I have no idea about that. I can't actually. Does that mean that these are the previous names of this one? Right. Who's Neil Neil? I guess Neil Neil. So Neil, that was the first name. Name of the computer. Different, name. different screen names. 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 That's not a new account number, but you're, instead of being banned, you're now great. Right. And to the world. And to the world, you're great. Right. And that's unusual to do that. To have. Sometimes it's totally legitimate. Sometimes I might write into a site and say, I'm being abusing you know, Apple. Please change my name. Right. Or maybe some other reason. You know, there are bona fide reasons to change. And with good customers, you might do it. Right. But uh, with this, it shows a history of Carol and changing the name and the graphic changes too. So it's uh they like on about these two days and then two days and then two days and two days. Something in the middle if you have some items on me. It out on me, paper shape even so these are you looking on the transferring page now? That's just the only Russ Hamilton's name. 
no, that, the transferring page is simply some of the proceeds of your winnings have gone through these people. These people did not directly pay, play, but these might be people where money was transferred to. You may have called uh, and had money. Yeah, pay for trace of chip freeze. So there might have been a time that you paid into the system or somehow. Do you want to know what I did with chip? Can we tell you what I did with chip? I don't know. Why don't matter? Probably doesn't. It pay off at that time. But the monster owed him from years ago when he was broke before he ever started with you guys. <laughs> but there's an example of, you know, I, yeah. if that yeah. was just, you know, I don't want to, that's just transfer. Russ, I don't want to shift this to innocence, but that's an example of, like, that, that monster should pull you up right now. Aid with illegitimate means, benefited from it. He's got a, it's not only if a question. You, can I say something? But so just let me pay it. Don't, if you try and bring it, you're just going to cause animosity with Munsor. He didn't have anything to do with this. Let me let me have that one. I'll pay it if I got to, okay? No, okay. No, okay. no I'm not. I okay. understand you're not wanting to bring it in. But I, I, you know, just for that one thing, that's what the one thing was. I think it's the only account I ever paid for him. It's okay. the only person. Let's assume you pay. Talk to me about how you approach it and what's your... Well, I hope that Joe and uh, the good thing is that the Joe cooking relationship goes through me. And I talk to cooking, cooking talk to Joe, or you talk to Joe. I talk usually you? both at once, so or sometimes I call Joe. But uh, for something like this, we talk to both of them. I don't think Paul would be calling up Joe Markle at all. Anything with them, I'll be involved with. Uh, Paul is a friend. I have Paul's trust. So okay. Paul is a friend of the company. He knows that I'm just trying to. I mean, I think he speaks to you. Uh, what about these full tilt guys that never play in a site where they're not allowed to? Yeah, right. Greg, Greg, Greg mentioned that. Guys. Guys. That's what they never will. Who will be worried about 15,000? They played a lot. Phil Ivey's never going to be kicked. He calls me, I'll talk to Phil Ivey. Gus Hanson, I don't know, though. Well, Phil Ivey, I know real well. They're golf with him all the time. I mean, yeah, though, the litmus test is if they contact the site, there'll be a special message. It'll go right to Paul. Paul will somehow call you and say, Take care of I'm just going to mark Gus Hansen because it's great. Jim Affleck, forgive me. Have him call me. Cookie talks to Jim separately, just for their, you know, just for the $25 marker for the cookie talk. Yeah. A little bit of steady still. So, uh, uh, so he, but uh, on this particular instance, no, I'm the, I'm the one who's working with uh, Things got a bit strained, in, in, uh, mainly due to this AP situation I'm running in. You know, it was a bad situation. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the minimum strain, and I, I think he's, he's kind of probably nothing to do with these types of problems, just wants to distance himself, wants to be over, you know, he just thought it was this thing, we just get set up, and then we'll get the problems keep coming up, and the hassle, and he's getting increasing here. The best conversation I've had with Jim post revision, which he set up, and he might have patience. That issue. It sounds to me, knowing Jim, he's planted that story for it to be helpful to filter back to us. Okay. But I think there's been some trust being in the H. Curtis and Danny Boyd, let me see that list. Curtis, Curtis and Danny Boyd, if you guys, you got to take them off and just clear those because people know them out there. And they'll relay them. Did you use the monster then? You, could you log into Houston's account and everything? I did. And he just unbeknownst to him? Yeah. I mean, that's the type of thing that we may need to hack a boy. Okay, I will. You know, for that. I'll, I'll make and sure. Part of the reason for the slow rolling. But Houston Curtis. You know us. Part of the reason for the slow rolling hack boy is if he were to come out with this statement right now that Neo Neo is perfectly clean, I think it would undermine him. <laughs> you know what the story is. I mean, his analysis has to back whatever it is. I communicated in an email. He just said, give me a resume. It sounds like it wasn't a mess. Take your time, take your time. It was more of a... Give us a resume, that's all I said. So it wasn't... And he's worked three weeks. He I'll have Paul send an email. Yeah. So who, so, so obviously it's Curtis, it's Houston Curtis. Who's Daniel Dennis Novinsky in Michigan. Everybody knows in front of mine. I believe every Aruba term is name. Dennis Novinsky. Dennis Novinsky. Well, maybe that's kind of a good thing because in, in, in a lot of the players, these, these players 
you know, the real names of these accounts weren't involved in this. They're implicated by some other kind of names. There's some players that we are very confident. No, well, that's what I like. didn't know. They didn't know this happened. There are other players that may not be involved, but 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 this is going to credit that they may not have been involved, so we don't want to. You know, yeah, no, I think the statement is like we've identified Neo Neo and maybe one other. These guys are bad apples. Total of 1.5 million being reimbursed. I don't think you can mention the number. We might, if you, if you want to, throw them a bone on them and say that in addition, there are other accounts that we can't prove, but they're associated. Reimbursements will be forthcoming, but we can't disclose the names of these accounts because. I wouldn't disclose any of the names that were, that were bad. Then you're going to have ways. because yeah. then well, you have people calling you that played with me on the other. I wouldn't disclose any names. I would just say we went through. There's oh, some of them that were bad. There were some that we checked out okay. We went through. We checked for the other months there was, but I wouldn't name any names. You name a name, you're just going to start more chatter out there. I'm naming names. One thing we need though is that, that like in the last one, the only way to satisfy these geeks was to send them their entire hand histories. You can't do that. And uh, you cannot send man histories off. They've got most of them already. They don't have they don't have the hand histories of Dark Show. Not with old cards, right? They just they don't there's not one hand that they have that shows that's bad. Not one. Hand histories they have, there's no, like the A P thing, it was the most obvious thing in the world. They have not one hand and they can go through every hand history they've had and in 100,000 hands here, they can go through all those names. There's not one hand that's going to show up bad again. There's not one damn. You cannot send a hand that's here. I'm not, yeah, what I'm trying to do is find a solution that's going to. They were not sending a hand. We went through, we checked, we reimbursed, we're making payments, we're here, and we're making everybody whole. The biggest one's Hawker is Trampoline, take care of. That's the, the one that's. What is the, the, the story of that person? Is it about him to be yes. commission so the game commission can make sense? That person will come in. Do you want to, what do you want to come in? No, I'm just wondering if, if, this, if there's a no. joke about it. Maybe I'm not. Oh, you're talking about Trampoline? Oh. Tell me, it's a girl. I don't know what the person is. What we could do with Trampoline, though, is actually, if we could, Phil said he'd do this for us, is help deal with this. Well, Phil knows Trampoline. He, if he were to come out and say, look, I went, I flew down to Costa Rica. They explained to me what they did. They went through this with excruciating detail. Everybody got paid back every penny. Otherwise, I wouldn't continue to represent them. Okay. All right. you know, I love that. If this is, if this is, um, if this is just pay Phil, will you go take care of this person and that's it? That's a disaster. Mm -hmm. But if, but if this is mm -hmm. a, a actually fly Phil down there, what? right, and 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 go through this stuff with Paul. In excruciating detail about what was done, and Bill and I are going to like roll into that and say, just fine. And then, and then uh, Phil can can um, can make a he can send statement a, to the press saying, I went, you know, you can make a state public one public statement saying, you know, the company did the right thing, and then one uh, that's what he's being paid for. So you know, they have to do the same thing. Okay, I love that. Can't tell Phil any names. So we're going to have to we're going to have to cover up a little bit. So the, one thing that Phil knows is, if you remember, Paul and I called you initially on that Friday, and you said, "Oh, Neil, Neil is fine. I know him as a high stakes player." We Phil called us to initiate that. So we called Phil back and said, "Don't worry, Phil. Uh, Russ knows the guy. He's actually backed him in the past. High stakes player from New York, just had a win streak." You told Phil that? Yeah. So somehow. Uh, uh, Somehow we're going to have to we're going to have to patch it up slightly. I think it's easily said by just saying, "Yeah, the person who did it, I backed you. You know, he screwed me." Tap it. You have to figure a different flavor for that, bro. I don't think that's good. I'll probably something different. So anyway, something will have to be communicated. Whatever, whatever it is, it needs to get coordinated. So it's not a person just a thing around here. I can't try to public face. But I don't get public face. No one's going to know who the hell Paul is or. That's the same thing for Joe Norton. Joe at least comes out with a release and says what it's him. But that's still how he wants to do it. My, my point is that for this vocal minority, right. Paul had said that if we really wanted to, if necessary, we would do a call in 
they actually have a forum to call in and run the test again. For, but some of these people need to go. If not that, at least the personal call. I mean, these people who are writing into the forums need to be called. And often they all need to be touched. One on one conversation goes a lot better. So, okay. Now, all right, let's talk about this thing, though. The bigger issue where you guys came to uh, grips on the thing. I feel like it's critical as part of this. If we're going to excel this thing, part of it has to be uh, process to pitch in. Because otherwise, they're going to think it's just some inside job. If we would have come to them and say, yeah, Six Caps is paying it all, well, or, you know, Hilt and Vim, something you might want to think about is Vim's biggest thing that he always brings up is, frankly, I don't think it's a bad message to Vim. Yes, this is what happened. There's a flaw in the software. It was taken care of. When we sold the business, we agreed that the customer balances would be full. Turns out they weren't. They had a claim of fraud, so we settled it. And I, don't, I actually think it's a good story. The truth is often a good story. I am, uh, I'm different about the message and what percentage it stays where. So, I mean, I, I would, so this is purely customer balance. This is right. The way that the damage is the same, right? There was X million in the bank account. You thought you had whatever your percentage is of that, and now it's not. And then in terms of, and then in terms of who pays it, if the institutional investors or if, or if folks in their uh, visuals in the business have to, have to, uh, you know, their contributions have to pay it. Well, well, one thing that doesn't help us is that the business is cash poor. Great cash generator, but they've been putting out so many fires lately. We have the thing, so we could have easily written the whole check for this. They're not in the position to be in. This is the thing about, about GM is, now maybe they're all these, the In the Ina group, maybe we put him down. There's an example, yeah. It's fifteen hundred dollars. But this is an example of, of where GM argument that could happen. You know, suggest that X Caps I simply sell you of X Caps of helping the short term cash issue. So I mean that's that and that's that's just that's just a loan. That's not that's not paying for you. But he doesn't somebody has to communicate to him what happened here. And uh, I'd like to do it at some point, but without being harsh on him, just to say this is what happened, that speech that I gave about me. I'd like, look, this is what happened. And I'd like to tell him, and uh, I think Gail should be on there. And I'd like potentially Melissa. I'm just worried about Melissa because of her relation. You know, my reason I mentioned her is because she's a director. But it really should be. And ideally, it would be Jim, Gail, Melissa. And then I'd ask you to come and John to come. And I just say, get on there. Tell the whole experience. You know, guys, when you hired me, you told Prompts me to do the right thing here. Uh, we hired the directors, and I know that all those directors hurt your wallets, and it's going to hurt some of our reputations, but you know, I'm not going to. How could I cash my dividend check without all of fault? I was at fault because I was irresponsible to legal. Gail is much more involved, and she was the one who wanted every transfer. I feel like we have to have the heart to heart. We have to realize that's why. And that we're asking them for money because it's the right thing. I think most likely maybe the initial response is going to be, well, maybe not. Unfortunately, my guess is the initial response is going to be, well, as is for a song, fraction of what it was worth. In life, I think I used to worry that that would be good. Right. No, if he wants to get into the legal arguments, he loses. You bring this case before a judge, he's done. They will find a way. This would be a law lawsuit brought in Malta. If Malta is not going to make its tax to pay back the payback value, they're probably going to ignore this whole Canada thing. Years of litigation. Everybody's name would be brought through the mud. Uh, may have some technicalities, which he does. Sure, the, the thing says that is, but this is the type of story we read. For starters, if you look at the liability, more than half of it is before the sale date. It occurred before it was sold. So, but I understand that the paperwork, the Jim's argument is going to be good No, the paperwork is as is, but if you misrepresent and uh, still it. What if you don't know the misrepresentation? Well, obviously, that's a good story. That's the question. I mean, it's it's like, to me, the way Jim is going to, Jim is absolutely going to be able to say it. He didn't. Could you have known when he didn't tell you that this code was on there? 
Easy was totally very difficult to slow down. I'm not sure. Huh? How do you know that? I only know that for sure. I just know from talking to Jerry. Of course, there is that he found the code. You never was told. But Jim, I think what Russ is saying, Jim didn't tell Jerry. I'm not sure Jim did. You told me he didn't ever get on the phone. I'm not sure. I'm just going to look at it. Hey, Bradley, what's going on? Good. Good, hello, how are you? No, I'm not certain. Well, no, Jim may be right. There are all sorts of technicalities, but he could give up his phone for us. I mean, it's no problem. I'm not worried about it. As long as you just call me like this every now and then, it's fine. I wish you all the luck in the world. Okay, I'm sure. And good luck to you. I'm going to give him the CASA's check without this being taken care of first. It wouldn't be right. You're welcome. Have, have, get, get, go get them up there. You said that the other day, and I thought you were going to Okay, then. Bye. No, I understand. No, what I'm saying is before trip. Uh, all of the trips. I mean, we need to pay these. Um, I just know the dynamic that if we were to push this whole thing on the new business, they have their problems is it's not only XAPSA. And it's other death over SGS. Happy as it is. I mean, they would, they'd have to do something drastic. The way they could do it is if they run it the same way we do it. If we have there's that no protection, we can take that. Uh, there's no litigation in any of this production. Full story has been out there. There's just not One thing we could do is uh, we want time, but yeah. question whether it's cash should pay or not. We could have the Mohawk, take it to the Mohawk Tribunal. Yes, the issue would be is that. Uh, uh, the buyer would be going against the staff that pay. Cap would say, no, no, we don't have to pay. So, so I mean, that could be just, that could be decided in some private form. I guess. How does that solve the player problem? Well, yeah, that's so like what, what, there's, there's like so many issues. Yeah. 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 All the issues from Don Pyle is made around minimizing the loss. Actually, not that aggressive. And then there's a, right? And then it's aggressive, and then it's just plain. Yeah. Right. There's that. Then there's the short term, whatever the number is. So there's an immediate, where does the money come from? And then there's the medium to long term issue of, okay, whichever pocket it came out of to, to take care of the immediate cash issue, over time, who ultimately pays the way? That issue, does it, the other issues would be the dynamic with the KGC. I don't believe in saying. Right. I find the four when you. This time what about Mark Stephen? Well, he's not going to be sent. Huh? We're not going to be sent. Okay. Go through it again? Yeah. We're going to found someone over through it again, too. I'm just going through the big one here at the beginning. I'm not going to go through all of that. It's possible. Huh. Well, I want to talk about the Well, I want to talk about the possible, about the nitty-gritty of separate from whatever numbers. Because that's no longer continuing to where it points out. There's some numbers. And then I also want to pass the, the short term, how, where the hell does it come from? And I want to jump to the, okay, long term, who puts the bill? Wrestling, the first one, the bundle for, and how does that get paid? <coughs> I suggest that, that, that lunch was the top issue. Move the, move the stock next caps into some, for whatever the percentage, move it into some entity that's obligated, whatever it's supposed to pay, until some numbers reached, right? Um, that's yeah, fine. And your argument is fine? No, my, my opinion is not. That's fine as long as it's what percentage that I should pay. My, is not, that's not my argument. I don't feel I'm responsible for the whole thing. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the only thing I said at lunch. That was the only thing I ever said. And to the extent that there could be, with that formula, Russ, to the extent that there are other people who benefit from this, both, they should have also put their stock. Crazy. Oh. I don't know who else, but I would know when the EWO got their shares. You didn't even. What are you talking about? I'm confused what you're saying right now. Who, who else should put up one? No, all those out there are other people who have stock, too. No, maybe they're not all culpable. What are you talking about? I'm confused. I think one else who benefited from money that came off the site. Nobody benefited from benefit. There was no other person that benefited from any money that came off the site. That's what you're asking. Nobody. If that's what you're asking, there was nobody else to benefit. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure the way that Jim would look at it is that all the EWO people... There was no EWO people that were involved in it. 
None. None. You can take a look at their accounts. I mean, just go look at them. That's where probably one of your biggest losers on the site blank. Fred David never. I mean, I'm, I don't. I hope he don't. He knows that Neo Neo's me. I hope it's not released. I mean, I've always told him it's never. You know, so that's why I hope names don't get released. Yet. I think this is as good as I can do. Can I take this one, read glasses, and give you a? Another copy? I'm not going to lose it. I feel like we should somehow uh, read some yeah. so it's just names or something. Something that's dangerous. But, uh, but we certainly can get to the, I think, just the player list of the fact that people are not that or Just the names of the players, not the, not the screen. Yeah. Are we going to make the 515 plays, Randy? The next one. Uh, 745 or something. Stay. You need to stay. Okay. I think we should try to hash. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, there's, 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 there's two ways. There's only two ways to look at this. There's, there's percentage. I mean, dollar amount. So if there's some, there's some amount of money that that walked off the side. You're, you're, if you look at it from a dollar perspective, your perspective is, well, yeah, with all that money that the person got. The dollar amount was also look at the value of the company that was used for a dollar amount too. So I don't think you can use a dollar amount. I think that there's a share of everything that happened here that we're responsible for. It's my opinion. I mean, what are you looking at me like that for? You surprised? Why? Well, I think I think if your I think if your argument was, hey, you know, that nobody ever walked off the site and this was used for playing host program, doing this, playing, putting someone in or whatever it was, then maybe that would be a different argument. But but if money walked off the site and and you know I barely understand the argument of, well, okay, fine, no one knew it walked off the site, but a significant percentage of that was used to do stuff that benefited UB, so everybody should 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 be part, part should therefore partially responsible for that. I have a hard enough time solving that one. But there is some amount of that that sounds like that was just purely for doing other stuff with. And so it seems like there is, should be some way to say, okay, well, how, you know, how much is that? How much, of, how much, of, what dollar amount of that didn't benefit anybody but me? So therefore, there is some number that says, you know, take that out of my future caps of stuff up until that point and, and it seems like it. I mean, one thing about this thing is that Russ took this money and pumped it into the new business. So it's gone. Uh, that was, that's, why, that's sort of what I was hinting on saying that other people, like I mean, when Paul looks at it, he sees that all these accounts have the UBT on the email. You know, because it's uh, mm -hmm. You know, because he's trying to connect the dots. Uh, I think, I mean, and I could feel like uh, that... Uh, Personally, and I would make it easier for everyone to swallow this. Is on the, not on the e world side, but you explain to my sort. Look, this is why we got went public. It's because of this. Uh, everybody got their chunk when they explain to my sort. Did you say? Yeah, all the e world people. You know, there's that whole group of people who got shares in its caps so by virtue of their relationship. With like, uh, you know, what does that have to do with this? And, and what how does this help? So, so kind of yeah. the case. What happened? What's the end result? Is that their stock also goes to this? Their caps stock. Their caps stock. But these, the theory being is that these people should continue to benefit from the other people who paid back, shifting the responsibility to. Uh, well, those guys should still be in. I mean, they helped build the site to where it was. Those guys shouldn't be penalized for this year. Those but guys got paid. Us. They, we, we, we went public. But they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't it matter. I'm just saying who benefited. We went public at this big valuation. And they, those were the guys. I disagree with this completely. These guys didn't have anything to do with this at all. They, they didn't. Nothing. I mean, they. You are. You, 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 you are. Now I feel on this one. I, I, I feel the same. I the same way. Uh, every other shareholder, I would say, is, you know, because the deal, the deal that was done with with Euro was a combination of cash and, and stock. So it just seems like if if they didn't know about it, they weren't involved in it. It's kind of hard to say. Well. You got to pay more than any other shareholder. That's my. But it's 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 either dollar amount or percentage. I mean, yeah, 
had one right now. I think the percentage is what it should be. I think AP is responsible for some. I think X caps is responsible for some. I was just out of curiosity, how is AP? What's the argument for AP being responsible for anything? Have to be responsible for something. Why? I'm just asking. If I'm if I'm an AP shareholder. And someone comes and says, "Well, they made a lot of money. They made money off the site already, didn't they?" So I'm just, I'm just I'm, to play a devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. I'm an AP shareholder, and someone comes and says, uh, "You're going to pay whatever percentage of this of this obligation that's that's arisen." Why? Well, because some percentage of it occurred on on the watch list in business, but. I could see someone having a legitimate argument that says, so what? Platforms, that's the platform that we that came with this. I, I mean I could just I could say no. someone putting up an argument that says, no. So I'm just wanting to know what what is, what is the argument that's going to be made, which maybe they don't like, but is reasonable to say, well, the only argument is, first of all, I don't think it can go when you say AP, I don't think you meant the current thing. Okay. So let's separate these things into groups. So so there's the original AP there's the there's the XCAPSA essentially equivalent, the equivalent. SGS. There's there's XCAPSA and there's this SGS company. Those are shareholders of these original things. And there's NUCO. I call it AP to be whatever. Um, so I I jump to the the XCAPSA equivalent. So those SGS shareholders I don't know what they're responsible for anything. Okay, that's what you're saying. Okay. I agree with that. That would be like coming to Apple and saying, "Hey, P fund." So, so, so then there's the business. So, what's the what's the argument for the business being culpable? Well, they operated the site, and they didn't uh, have the wherewithal to go in and and, and see if there are any, you know, scrutinized transfers, scrutinized where money is going. The acquisition that it seems to be pretty similar to Paul said with Carolyn actually. Somehow she was it. Yeah. But I think the best argument is to say post sale they benefited by virtue of the money. To go to the negligence argument that they should have known and probably because it is. But isn't that the same argument that you're gonna that's gonna be used for for you know, ex -cassa? You're gonna say to yes. you're gonna say to uh, you're gonna say to Jim, Well wait, I don't care if you or not, you're the ultimate responsible for what happened on your watch, right? You're gonna say to Gail, wait, minute, you know, you made this comment to Dan at some point of oh shit, you know, don't look at those, don't look at that stuff, it's a it's a mess. Now maybe she only meant it's just there's lots of it and then you know it's gonna take forever to figure it out, or maybe she meant uh I'm suspicious. At some point she ought to lose the company and I think about financials for hosting. My guess is that she didn't know and uh, or she highlighted it and then asked Jim and because it doesn't seem to me that anybody, other parties, would be willing to contribute. No, but I think, but I think that uh, it will be that. This first question is going to be important. I just want to make sure I understand what, was, what the dynamic is going to be. Let me say this a different way. If 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 a million dollars walked off the site, yeah, and Russ said. I, I should be, I should personally be responsible for at least half of it. Right. So now, so now, you know, at least you know. Right. Well, maybe it's a combination of things. Maybe it's maybe it says uh, X percentage. But what, what if what if the business said, uh, you know, we're going to this, you know, boxing it in. We're going to go after X capital for 20 million or 16. Go after X capital the whole now. All. Now what? So now, you know. Do you want to look at it by percentage or do you want to look at it by? Well, you can do it with a hybrid, which is a percentage against the cap. I, I'm just, I'll tell you what I'm confused by. Okay. What I'm confused by is Russ saying, hey, this has gone for one long time and, 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 and it was moved around the site and the business benefit. So, okay, so the argument is that whatever that benefit is and whatever that cost is, therefore, all, all everybody involved should have to. Should, but what about this other piece? So this other piece is different to me. The other piece is not things move around the site. This is moving off the site. That just feels different to me. It feels different to me too. But I mean, the reasoning for I think pulling it off. Is it's irrelevant. I know. It's, it's irrelevant. irrelevant. How is it relevant? It's not. But to me, it makes it a little bit slightly better. I don't know why. It makes more of an explanation. The well, story of the business got to it. I, I think if every single capture shareholder 
benefited from those, had, had, had a piece of the UT, then maybe you'd argue, well, that's, you know, okay, well, but after every sketch a shareholder has a benefit in the beginning, if that happened? What, what, what I'm saying is... Um, I agree with yeah. what you're saying, but every sketch shareholder had a, a benefit in the beginning, too. It got it to the value that it was at, too. It got it to that $400 million yeah, I, 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 IPO. I understand. Okay. But, but what I'm struggling with is if, if, if the, uh, uh, of some, oh, there's some overall number, and then there's a subset of that that came off the site, and you're saying, well, but even of that, there's some percentage that, in your mind, well, I paid for Bill or any or whatever, you be this or whatever. So you're, in your mind, well, there's some percentage that, that, that would have been. There's still some number that, in your mind, well, okay, that, that wasn't that in the business. That was just whatever that number is. Well, I, what I understood was to say is that there are dollars with respect to the penalty of stopping no, I don't think it's in dollars. I think it well, determines the number that they come up with. If they come up with a lot smaller number, I'm going to come up with a lot bigger percentage. I'm trying to see what this number is. Absolute dollar. I don't know what this dollar. I don't know what this dollar on is. Well, I, everyone's in agreement that we have to try to uh, lower the amount. This fact that you didn't use them the tool all the time is helpful. You know, unfortunately, though, the times that you didn't use the tool, you weren't didn't have that win. That, you know, you no, didn't do as well. I think you're overall in that win. But uh, eventually, it's going to be tilted way I think there's a chance that on a couple of these accounts, like Houston's accounts, the first and the other boy you need to fall. But but for McAvoy's, when we get to that point, you yeah. know, McAvoy's analysis can't be that Neo Neo is beautiful. No, no, we have to. You know, no, McAvoy's analysis can never dovetail with our. Yes. Which is one of the reasons we've delayed it a little. You know, like we've got to get that. But they've got to give him a contract to look at it. I'll do that right away. I'll have Paul send them a. The reason we asked for the resume is because that was requested by uh, KGC. Yeah. Uh, but getting back to this issue, uh, I think Greg has it for a number of fronts. Greg has a valid point. Is first of all, it's uh, simple, simply going to the fact that Greg. Greg going to these people who are going to have to pay for day. Yes, but there's this stock in this entity, and this has been. I mean, just simply collecting the money is important for you to know. Second thing is the blameworthiness. Whenever you have a issue like this, you know, well, some people are blameworthy, and one of the ways to accept the blame is to uh, uh, make up for it. But there's one. But, but it's restitution essentially. It's to pay for. Uh, it's to pay what. The business is going to have the following perspective. Let's say that when the dust settles, this is the two different numbers. Yeah. Okay. So, well, well, actually, all those parties, I think. But, but if the business sees a dollar walked off the site, and the, and, and the, the person that they're looking at all this stuff for and say, okay, that benefited this person down here, and they're only going to contribute some percentage, which means 10 cents. The business is going to look at it and say, that's fucking bullshit, I think. So they can just say it one more time. If a dollar walked off the site, and the person that they're all seeing is, is responsible for getting that dollar off the site only reimburses the business for 10 cents, I think they're going to say, that's bullshit. I think, I personally think they're going to have, they're going to have So what, what do they want to do then? They just want to blow this whole thing up to where they just blow everything out and everybody gets hurt. I don't know. I'm just, just, just okay. common sense think about it. The, I'm, the thinking business, of, the business I'm thinking of that and I'm also thinking that if everything gets blown out of water, Excaps could go down the drain, UB, AP, I don't know what they I, do. I, I mean, everybody. I hear you. Okay. But that still doesn't, that still, what you're trying to, I see what you're trying to do. You're saying, look, this, this, this tool is used longer and it's, and it's benefiting the business, right? So that has to be taken into consideration. I get your point. But, does, there's still this perspective of, well, in your mind, there's no distinction between that and money that came off just for you. And I'm saying, you may see it the same, but I guarantee you other people don't see it that way. And so, if you end up contributing, however you end up contributing, you know, a dollar, and there was ten dollars that came off, I, I, I could see parties involved saying, this is bullshit. I don't intend to contribute one dollar of ten dollars. Okay. Okay. So 
But I need to see a number. I just need to see a number that you're going to okay, come up with. Let's say it's 10 million. Ah, oh, it is. I think that will probably worst case, probably, I mean, the worst case is the 16. That is a very best possibility. They used to just like you could get it down to five, is what you said. Now, yeah. depending how so creative we get, right. could go low. Well, so right. I, I think that five is a little optimistic, personally. I think that the, probably the end, it'll end between five and ten, but I think that bench you ten is a possibility. Now, certainly, if they reimburse the same way they reimbursed the last one, we'd be above 16. There, you know, we are uh, already finding ways to reduce the thing. He could be a good guy in the last one. You know, a million dollars. No money was ever stolen on the side. You know, cool just won the money and we played it. Or just moved it to corporate accounts and stuff. I mean, there's no money ever diverted. So it was much easier, you know, to be a guy because it didn't cost the business that much. This, this one, the money is just gone. Some that was withdrawn, more, I think, actually, more of it, at least the way it falls, is to sort of spread. You know, there's little transfers going everywhere. And uh, so the money isn't there, uh, so we have no choice but to. But whether it's, but whether it's 5, 10, 11, 9, 7, whatever, I mean, sort of make these numbers. And, and, and so, you know, my, my, you know, my thought is, is that as, as, as more, this, this number's moving around. I keep asking for more information, you know, to help be more specific about what, where can you make a very solid argument that says, look, there was no auto tool connected during that section. It's ridiculous to include it. Yeah. So, you know, that number has swung pretty well. That number has swung from a little bit less than uh, 16 to, to something, you know, in the five-ish range. Then, then when you get more data, you say, well, that's a little too aggressive, and it moves up. And so there's still more data coming, and that number's going to move around. But I, but, I, but I think that it's, it's not an unreasonable thing to just take a discussion and say, let's just use 10. Assume it's 10. Now what? It happens to be less. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll less and it'll cost everybody less. But, but I'm, I mean, I think I'm just stating the obvious. When you tell me if you, if you disagree, but if the business, if the business is looking at all this, if, if this Paul guy is looking at all this and, and he sees that a hundred bucks went to this Russ guy and Russ ends up paying 50 cents in the dollar for the money that went out, I, I think he's going to say, well, fuck it. But, you know, I just feel so Paul and Gary are the ones that, only ones, that maybe Jim concentrate on you. Paul, like, we had that call with him on Friday. And then he turned to it. So anyway, he's one. Uh, now, what I've told him, of course, is just to say, we'll get this thing paid for up front, that rate was going to get this paid for up front. Well, here's, so, so this especially, this especially works if, if, if SGS shareholders don't have to pay anything. And this is the only people in the business is maybe Paul. And, you know, the problem is you've got this Yuri guy who's pulling all this data and seeing all this stuff. Coming to conclusions, potentially even call. I think that you, I, I could believe that Yuri calls him. Well, in any case, for, so forget that angle. If, if, you know, Yuri is just, I mean, I think you can just see. It. Look at what he did when the AP stuff was gone. He was the house, so you can assume he's doing the same thing. And you know he talks to Jim. So, how's Jim not going to have his perspective of thinking that, regardless of what names are released, if the are to say, look, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. And the story is that, no, so the computer guy. So, what if you put it on the computer guy? I think it, 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 it helps. I think it helps. I that versus think that no, it's just a spin. Well, it sounds. You're going to have to go. He figured a way to repair it. No, I, I know the story is, but no, that's the kind of, whatever that story is for that audience, it's the same thing. You can't release his name because people know his name. Nobody wants to release it. The only person that may have to be released is the state. Nobody better. No, there's nobody better than except for his location in the state. Yeah. But if you don't release names, it doesn't matter. No. But, you know, if you just told. Jim or Yuri, if you told Yuri or Jim or somebody, I mean, he was, he, 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 he is, he does everything for me, he does all the stuff, he knows all the accounts, he is the one that, you know, I said, hey, just think we're working, take a look at it, he went in and fixed it. And that could actually be the story with, I don't think he took Phil, but I think so. Oh, you mean for Russ Yeah, this is the test. Okay, so, but getting back to what uh, Greg is saying, uh, I mean, the two assets, I think, that are relevant most, well, there's, there's three different 
asset pools here, Russ. First, there's like your personal stuff unrelated to the business. Then there's uh, the XCAP stock, which you got it because of this. And that's not the only stock that you got because of this. You got the stock in Greg's new company, which doesn't have value yet, Iovation, as a result of the bid. There, there are three different places. I, mean, I, I know enough from you is that you put everything you've got into this new business. But I do think it's a, it's a good story and a fair thing to do to say is that some portion of some amount you pay that or bearing the upfront cost. Right now, ideally, we have a situation, okay, it's $10 million. Jim, you're liable for eggs out of the 10 business. You weren't involved, but you didn't get profit from this, and there's always a risk when you buy, you pay X. And then Russ says, okay, I'll pay the rest. I mean, we're not also sort of this issue that uh, uh, don't know what the liability is even going to be up with our number and our argument. It's still going to be an argument. Know the risk, because we're going to try to cut it low, lower. It's always a chance that, you know, people are annoyed. First, it's typical of death with that number. I don't think they realize it's that high. Now, could, I mean, as this number comes down, that number will come down, maybe. Like I said, it's possible based on the sessions that it could go up. I think that person thinks that they, if they were to, I think that person thinks that if they were to get back 50 to $75,000, you'd be happy. you are way up, way above something like that. So, I mean, what can we, what can we do? Come back, come back with proposals. I think you need to come back with a number or something first. I'll check where you've got to. Well, we're starting off with this idea of 10. Uh, Greg said he thinks he can get it to 5. I agree. It's right, but that doesn't mean the business will swallow it. What I'm saying is I think you can make it an aggressive argument in a 5-6 range. You can make a, you know, on the conservative side, you know, at the upper end of the, of the range is. And so the business is going to decide, you know, it's got to go and make an argument to the KGC, and it's also going to stand up to potential scrutiny when the auditors come in and say, okay, now some of you did. And so they just have to pick where in that continuum they think is. And so, yeah, I, I do think that if the business wants to be ultra aggressive about it, you, you know, you can make an argument. I don't know if they're going to be comfortable. So I think the middle of the road one, just for sake of discussion, is reasonable, right? If you assume have a number to start with, put it in the realm of, you know, some. Some fixing a number as a point of reference yeah. so that there's time to Yeah, do it five. Say, what if it's ten? What if it's five? Then how does it work? So let's hope it's five. Yeah. Nobody wants it to be. I think five. everybody's agreeable that there's got to, whatever the number comes to, that there's going to be a resolution to how we all pay it. That's, we just have to come to a way of getting it to where it's hushed and no names. Well, I'm, I'm not there. What do you mean? I feel different. Well, what? Well, I think, I think what you just suggested is, regardless of what the number is, that it's just going to be a percentage. I just think that's bullshit. So, in other words, if the, if, if it's hypothetical, if the business, if it actually costs the business a million bucks, if it costs the business a million, I pay the whole million. So okay, I, okay, well then, then, then I feel different. Okay. So what I thought I heard you communicating yeah. is that. Whatever the number no, is. No, I just said that whatever it is, we'll figure out something. That's all. That's all. So there you said it. Okay. So so how about this? How about think about what what is the what 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 is the number where regardless of what the business pays, you feel like, hey, this is what needs to come back. And 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 uh, and then, uh, you know, so if it got bigger, then it'd be a percentage. You follow me? So you just you just you're talking about a floor. Yeah. With a, with an regardless of what, regardless of what it is, you know. So, you, so I'm not, so I'm not, there would be a good example. Regardless of what the number is, guys. Hey, I, I'm saying, I, you know, for, if it was a million, I would say no, no one has to pay off it. Okay, well, what about two, three, four? I mean, where, you know, what happens? Now, one thing I don't know if you've got, any, but any that you can put in up front. <laughs> no, not obviously. We, you know, I don't know if you could. Uh, <laughs> that would go a long way to satisfying. Do you think Greg's going to be good? I'm going to say the price is standard. Black? No, I understand it's black. Greg is probably going to have to come out some money on it. Uh, no? I mean, I just, I mean, to, to Greg, I'm sure it's all the right way, but you've heard it in my voice, but to say that you're out of pocket a bit will greatly help in getting a chance up for Tom and Jim working on that. But I bet, you know, I mean, if you look at the value that you've gotten out of it, Lean break for not taking more off the 
Paid for it. Should have. Well, the first ones that made the call to Tony probably caused us to lose our other business. We'll probably be shutting it down in a week or so. That person that made that call cost us a lot of money, probably. I don't know who it was. I agree. But that person probably cost us our business realistically within the next two weeks. Whoever that person was. So, I don't know who it was. So that person is just stupid. Because I think I know who it was. I still think I know who it was. But I don't know. That person was just absolute, complete moron. Just hurt the situation. Fortunately, I'm going to guess it was Ryan Gladden. And then another call just said, Greg, do anything in the U.S., anything in the U.S., never going to happen, blah, 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 it's a waste of time. So what you think about Hello. Hey, what's going on, bud? Uh, a lot just in the meeting right now. What's going on? The thing I'm in the back of my mind, and now I'm getting super paranoid. Well, go ahead. Well, have you have you talked to anyone yet? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's about it. If there's anybody wants to give anything, just let me know. You know, if there's anybody wants to come, let me know. Um, just give me a call. You know, tell me if there's anybody that does. Okay. <laughs> if you know any of them that know and they want to contribute something, just pick it up from your chat off. Okay. Okay. If there's anybody, then just, just ask them, that's all. Okay, thanks, Rich. Do you think you can get it done under the five range here? I mean, I'll, I'll use my stop I've got. I mean, I just don't have any money. I'm serious, I'm telling you. You know, and probably that phone call, I mean, I'm, we probably had some investors that could have, that were potentially really going to, this fucking phone call somebody made, I don't know who did it, I don't know who went into Tony and did this, I have no idea, but boy, that the bandwagon with us. I mean, we might just, uh, I don't know. What mechanism to pay back? That would be the most important thing to get. Coming up with cash to take care of that issue is, is easier to do if it's not just an expense that's never coming back. If there's mechanism to stop being where you can go back. So I think I think that helps. You know. okay. What did you two just talk about? Well, it's easy. It's just asking. What, what, is it, what are we asking for? <laughs> How to turn the look at our How are we supposed to? And uh, what I think is would be helpful is to do both a short term and a long term contribution. Short term, I think you're right. The story is, look, I've got no money. Put it all effort. Frankly, if you were to come up with something, even a nominal amount, I think in 45 days I can scrounge up X. Whatever that is, it's something. I think it goes somewhere. Long term. Part. And basically, all you have is to say that uh, uh, well, not all. Well, you can't do that. So now we need to go to the stock part. Like me and John were talking before you came in. So you have to what? Come up with anything for him right now in, in the short term. Right. So second piece, and I'm not saying that you'd be millions of dollars. I'm asking. Drop in the bucket, but it shows something. Shows that you know some nominal amount. That would be really good, except the fact is I had a guy in the office borrow twenty thousand in his house just two days before I left just to pay some other stuff. So, it's so you've got zero. So yeah. The, so your comment is you've got zero now. And then the next question is on the long term, is there some way to pay back the people who uh, put up this money? Basically, it's big. The big people like that I see is there maybe someone. Are you talking about paying back 100% of this money, or are you talking about everybody else taking a piece of those loss? What are you talking about? Not paying back. Oh. Because paying back some of it to... Of so course. Say that yes, of course. So I take your caps of stock, or yes. you know, any dividends from that. Yes, it goes through. Now, another thing that's possible is this uh, <laughs> the elevation piece. 
And that's between you guys. But you've got to look Greg in the eye and say that you've earned that thing out of this company. Yeah. Why do you think that's an issue? Only because you got it in this business. The two things you got for this business were really. everybody here, including all the shareholders, got a lot out of the stock going public IPO for $400 million. That part was due to a lot of things that went on that weren't supposed to go on in the beginning. We're not going, I'm not going back and saying, guys, I, you guys all got this because of that. You need to contribute here. So for me to look him in the eyes and say that I sh shouldn't get that is, I mean, I got guys. Uh, going on a little bit, you can. No, I'm sure there are. But no, we, 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 we talked about the stock piece. And you said fine. So whatever the number is, to put it in some entity business. So my thought is that if the hypothetical, if the business ate it, mm -hmm. then whatever this entity is that's created that has that it pays stock in it, it pays the business until some numbers hit. And then it goes to rest. So there's there's upside. Um, if X does it, you know, the point is it gets pointed to wherever it is. Okay. I still think X has to share in some of this because it was there in the beginning. I still think AP UV brand the one now has to share a little bit of this too. I think the harms. I didn't tell him not to tell him. No, I think I think when the client was no longer supported, the assumption is okay. Well, it's dead. Supported when you were in Jeff Goldberg from Don. Absolutely it was. I don't remember the exact date. Well, I can tell you that it was absolutely supported when you took it over from Don. So, but other than I mean, so we've mentioned these guys. So okay, so we talked about the fact that the scaps of shares could be put in this thing. Something. So if the number is ten. If the number is 10, if the business pays back 10, and immediate contribution is zero, what what percentage of the 10 is a long-term contribution? So as dividends flow out of X Capsa, wherever it came from, did it, you know dividends to this entity get pointed to pay back how much of the 10? Why are you asking me this until you tell me what everybody's contribution? Everybody's contribution is here. Everybody's, including. X caps or that's what, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Well, what, what do you think there should be first? I think realistically, like, we're, the we're talking about the long term. Long term. Someone, someone, someone's paying. Obviously, someone has to pay. And who's responsible for the whole thing? Not just long term, but better, who's long term? The whole thing together. Whoever has to pay in the beginning. What are the? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, if, so if the business pays 10, I'm not talking about who, who comes up with the money to, to take care of the 10. Okay. That's, we know that. Okay. You, can't, you, you can't put anything in there, okay. so your contribution is at zero. I'm talking about the long term. If this guy reaches in his pocket and says, here's $10 million. To, to if the bill's $10 million, what do you think each person's contribution should be? If it was 10. Um, Let me ask Dan first. If, you, if it was 10, what, is, what do you think the contribution should be from each entity? Well, I... I don't know why I'm fixating on this, but I just feel like the dark of the I feel like the whole E World group should put their stock in. Like these guys were guys on the casino side. E World had nothing to do with this. Fuck! They, 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 if they, they put the fucking guys that made the fucking software out there in the beginning and put them in there, that's how it all started. E World, the, the E World guys out there got stuck, didn't even know about it other than one other person. They did not one person know about it. And you keep wanting to throw these E World guys into it. That's not right. I, I okay. So I, I feel like that they are more palpable. I just feel like that they they manufactured this to get the IPO value up. And they were the biggest beneficiary. They the manufactured it to get the IPO up. Who did? They, this tool was used in part to get the IPO value up, and people who mainly benefited from that IPO was the IPO. It wasn't. Those people, no, it wasn't. Those, the E World people got bought out, came down, and were lied to in Aruba about what the company was worth when they brought Jim Ryan down when he took the company over to begin with. And they said either we've got to do this or we've got to close it down. We're going to give you this X amount for it, and that's it. Then he took it public after that. That's not what happened. I mean, let's make this thing right what's right here, but that's not what happened. Jim Ryan came to a room with me and Mansoor. They lied to us I on what? I mean, we, we did okay. I'm not arguing, and we didn't do okay. But the people went public after that. Right. It was okay. a year and a half after I that. I think that they're more helpful than the Who is? 
I don't. I, I know you feel that way. I don't know why you feel that way. Yeah, I and, and don't know. I, it, 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 I just find it hard to believe. The people, the shareholders this came out why? Because these people directly benefited from this play. Transfer the money. Come on. You're telling me that using this tool, you didn't transfer all these evil guys' money? Absolutely not. And you can bet me money, and we can go in there. Absolutely not. What, you can bet me. You can bet me everything that we both will make for the rest of our lives. So there's going to be no transfers. To there's them. absolutely not none. None from your account. To there's them. none. None to us. There's none. None. I just told you there's not. Not consistent. I'm trying to ask me for the time. Dan, I'm telling you the truth here. There's none that you will be. I thought there was some money transferred to Monster. The fucking money. Didn't you tell me what the money to Monster was? The money to Monster was to pay host payments, if that's what you're talking about. There was never no money to Monster to cash out. Never. Not a penny. No, that's what you're thinking. Yeah, maybe that's it. You guys got to stop this e-world stuff. The, the stockholders, when you took the public, shared way better value than what the e-world guys got for what they were supposed to have had. The e-world guys were supposed to have 16% of the rate we have Well, we were told we couldn't after that deal was made. Is that right or not? I Okay, so. I, this is one of the few things I agree with you on. Okay, I'll tell right. So, but if, treat, but if you exclude that group, I feel like uh, hope. Oh, yeah, it should. It's got to be enough to. Uh, I, I mean, this is what you're. What you're, what you're, you're jumping past the, the whatever the number is to how long can you take to pay back, and is it reasonable? And right, that's what you're jumping to. You're, you're, you're jumping to the conclusion of well, this, 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 this stock is whatever percentage it is. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be 5% of payments and therefore it's going to take, you know, a long time to pay. I think that's what you're jumping to. And I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm jumping to the, you know, what, what amount of 10. Do you think it's really going to be that high? I don't know how else to say this. So I think 10 is within the, really oh. within the possibilities. Okay. But I think that that's... But are you going to tell the world at 10? Because that's really going to be Okay. I don't think that, I don't think even the statement earlier of, of you know one one five and others are I mean any number should be mentioned. If there's a number mentioned, I think it should be more along the lines of look, there there are there are a couple of accounts that that you know that are going to get you know as much as fifty thousand or more, and there are accounts that have less than a dollar coming to them, but every penny's coming back. A statement like that, I could see, but but even hinting at the magnitude of this is, is, is a very bad thing. You can't yeah. let them know the man gets rid of it. You do, you just. But 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 anyway. So I I, I know you, you you nobody knows what this number is going to be. So even this morning I asked Dan for some more information about sessions because if I know right now I only know either either just start date or just end date on these sessions and there and some of them are close enough together that they might make a big difference. If I can absolutely know beginning and end date for some of these sessions, and I can say that absolutely not. There was no auto monster logged in during during that time. It has to be excluded, right? Um, there may be some that that have longer sessions that overlap, but they am excluding, so it could go up, it could go down. I mean, and so then the businesses need to look at all these different ways to cut it and um, and decide, you know, which what what, what they feel is because this isn't this isn't an exact. Thing. You know, I'll just give you an example. We have for this for this uh, audit monster thing. Iovation knows the second message of the type. Don't know what table it watched, and we don't know when it left. So now, what does the business have to do? Well, the business has to say every table for an indefinite period of time. Well, that would be one way to do it. Another so way to say pick a number: twelve hours, nine hours, six hours. Three hours. What is the window that you're going to go and sit down with the KGC and say, okay, here's all our data. This, these are facts. I mean, indisputable. You send anyone in the world into audit all you want. These are the absolute facts. These are the assumptions that we that we use. Right? And so the business has to, you know, come up with their their position and make a difference. If they say 12 hours versus You don't have to log out the time. No. Iolation doesn't. You have to look at what. What, what Iovation does. Iovation doesn't 
IL Nation is only interested in making associations between the world. money transfer to the world. world. Yeah. Uh, never. Just I'm just telling you, I'm going to wait. I know, I know. But I've never, they've they've never, they've never, had, they've never, had, they've never had, had any money transfer. Uh, they've never had anything to do with it. Not for all the periods. No, no, no. There are, so to say that the I didn't mean to yell at you, but no. I understand. You're defending them and it's okay. So you appreciate it would help if there are other people. Would it help? I know. There is no. Okay. You follow me? Yeah, so you got your per your It's a financial system. So financial transactions. Scaps of people are the ones benefit from the IPO, not us. They came in and bought us out before they knew. They told us they told us they said we might ICO at the very most damn. Listen to what we hear. So you see what we they said the very most we can IPO for would be eighty to hundred million. That's what they told us. They said we have to buy you out though before we do it. Oh we got to close the business. So what? Jim Ryan came to Aruba with him and told me and my sort. And I tied our hands and said, either this do this or we gotta close. IPO is going to be 80 to 100 million. It went to 200 million. So they got the benefit of that. We didn't get the benefit of that. I have the beginning session of the table. That's where I think X Caps has got to be responsible for some of this. It was there at the beginning. It helped build that thing to that 400 million. Not the 100 million, but they lied to us and told us. It got to the 400 million. That's how these guys got it. That's how all the shareholders, that's how he got 20% of 400 million, not 100 million. We've made our value. And X Caps was there. Jim Ryan was there. They didn't tell them. They didn't tell them this code was there. You know, so, and I'm, I am responsible for some. I agree. To be able to make, you know, those lines, part of it is being able what the differences are. So, for example, if the, if the difference, hypothetically, from going for, well, let's assume, let's assume it was kind of for six hours, is a $100,000 difference from saying it was 12, well, fuck, I'll say 12. Right? Right. I mean, so they, they need to understand all those course from conversely, enormous difference between, right? So that's the best kind of stuff that's going on. So I think, I think what, what Dan is just saying is that, you know, so you know, could you make an argument to, to, to get it down lower? And yes, but, but now as more data is coming in, it might make it harder for me to help with the argument. Or easier. I'm not going to need more data. But, but I still see this at least. And I'm going to make a difference in the I I I I have to win the best, I know. But I, I, I think that, that there there has to be and maybe we just go away and think about it. But I think there just has to be some number that you say, well, whatever it is, that I should last year's small support. So right, so whether the so independent of whether the business says five, ten, twenty. Well, why don't I just say that I'm responsible for the stock that I've got there? Whatever it is, whatever it comes to over the course of time. Yeah, if you were to say that, I think that's fair. Like, I think I would, but frankly, I know that you're, or I don't know why I keep on harping back to this, but I just feel like that they could share this with some other people. I should share it with other people. Excaps should be responsible for some of this, and, sh and so should they be. No, I, I still think you're responsible. I don't think it's fair there. for you to give. I don't think it would be fair for you to give up your stock and somehow that it's caps of benefits from that. You know, no. It goes beyond the liability. I think what you just suggested is, is, is beyond. If you, if, if, if you, if you said, I'm giving up the stock. Up to a certain number. I know that. Okay. Well, you said a second ago is, I mean, I've worked it up. And, and. We're hopeful that we I know that. I want there to be some, some upside here. I think, I think. There, there's no question some, some money should come back. I think it's only only right. Um, but once it's paid back, it doesn't it doesn't it just uh, it just doesn't make any sense. It's not fair that now whatever that percentage is continues to so that, 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 that I don't agree with that. Okay. So 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 you figure out a fair percentage of that and tell me what it is. Okay, I will do that. But figure and out a I fair percentage that. for Excapsa, because Excapsa, no matter what you say, owes something here. So, so here, I'll tell you what, 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 what's going to happen for me. So I can't answer this today, because I, do, I have no clue, because I'm not, I don't I know see that. the business side 
of the money transfer stuff, right? So the business has some inkling of what left the system and got to you. So I want to know what that number is. If it's, if it's a million bucks, well, it's a different like that. If it's 15 and, and this thing costs the business 10, I, I, I would argue that you have to pay a big percentage of the 10. I feel like. So that's, so that's just how I would argue you have to look at more. But what's... We're talking about the burnout of the, the value of the shares so that I also don't think you know, that's part of this. It would just make my life a lot easier is that you come up with something short term. That you can't, you don't have it, right? South Africa innovation shares. Greg can probably get a few hundred thousand from that. And we say, Russ doesn't have any money. He's begging. I don't want to sell those shares. I want to sell those shares for no Everybody does. Okay, he's getting old. Yeah, but I mean, let's Russ. look at the relative amount of shares, okay? So you have like 250,000 shares in there. I've got 12,000. I put in as much time as you. You got a disproportionate amount because you have this, because of your relationship with the world and its caps. That's the reason. You were paying for 250,000 shares. Half of those shares are months first. Then you mean no one. I know. Okay. No, but all I'm saying is you've got a disproportionately larger amount than anybody else because of the, the relationship to the business, which is fine. Damn, I helped grow the business to a $400 million IPO. That's true. But all I'm saying is that that's, in my book, I view those liabilization shares as similar to the XCAPS shares. They're products of your involvement. Can we agree that that issue won't be settled up? Avoid. I tell you, you just made some real serious progress. I tell you what, 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 what probably helps you is player accounts that he marked add up to not quite seven percent of the of the. So the reason I use the percentage is this the player accounts there. Right. That's good. So the numbers, if the number is five million, that's, that's a big contribution right there. That all so, to the so what? Player. So I think this is this is. Part of it is to say the number is this, but you know there are some players he's just personally taking responsibility for. That's the A number. Oh, that goes a long way. I agree. All day, Lyle Burn called us guys. We did all this research. We went through every one. Your times with this person. You want? Yeah, but don't. Right. But don't tell the world that's what you're going to do. I didn't say. I want to tell Jim Ryan to think that it, it's out of pocket. You're you're taking care of the kids exactly. directly. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to tell the world, but I just said that. Okay. Um, okay. The biggest thing we disagree on is like scams. Jim Ryan owes some of this. Okay. Well, let me let me just. Uh, I, I, I can't help. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? I don't know if you do. Great. It's, I, it's, I think it's, I it's, it's very simple. If if a hundred bucks walked off the site. <laughs> And 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 what what and the cost to the business is 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 two hundred. I feel better about the business, you know, contributing a significant percentage of that. If conversely, two bucks walked off the site, and the live and the actual cost to the business is going to be a buck, I, it's just hard for me to swallow that 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 you wouldn't have to pay it all because more than twice of that walked off the site. And, and in my mind, it's irrelevant what it was, what it was used for. Yeah, that's just how but it's, yeah, I, preliminary numbers indicate it's much more like the former. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, okay, I'm going to come. You know, the withdrawals seem to be limited and, you know, as you said, for okay. any this has been, well, now, okay. Okay. Yeah. If you, sorry, so if you said, no, no, the number's five. Yeah, that's what I think it's more like, five or seven. And then, then, I, feel, then I feel different about it. If, it. if the cost of the business is going to be ten and five walked off, well, let me ask you this. When we measure the cost of the business, Greg, it's not. when we measure the business, whether if you credit their account, oh. so the actual cost is the by the So, so, how does that go? So, I hear what you're So, my first thing is that it's a total of equation. Difficult to 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 put a finger on. Hello. Which I'll explain. And then the yes. Super easy. Yeah. Cash is cash. 
Yeah, you, I'm still waiting for a call back from Jack McCollin. Can you call me back in about an hour? It's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow, though. Y yes. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, guys. So, so there's there's two parts to this. Let's say the business is in the whole hundred accounts. It's it, you know it's in their account. Okay. Two things happen. One, the easy part is after some period of time, some of that never, no one ever claimed, went after, did anything with, it, and comes out of it. Right. Okay. Well, it's not spent anymore. It's not right. I don't know how you feel about this, but that didn't actually cost the business anything. It's a full I, I would say. That I, I personally would say, well, that should be considered. That's just my opinion. Now, the part that's difficult is, well, that yes, some of those monies walk off the site and it's a real and significant cost. But guess what? It's at least 10% higher than what we'll actually walked off because of processing stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, and I'm not saying to, to necessarily consider that cost, although maybe someone wants to argue to do that. What I'm saying is, there's, there's an additional cost of money that walks off, but there's also a benefit in theory of money that stayed in and moved around because it got turned into rate. Right. But that's also messy because, well, if a player would have played anyway, that's not incremental revenue. You follow me? No. It's so so here, here's a player that it currently has no money, like like uh, take the first guy, Prelo. Yeah. Uh, Prelo Freeman. Prelo Freeman. So he's got no money inside. Fifty-one cents. And he's a high enough player. He ain't playing for 51 cents. Right. Okay. You put money in his account, one of two things happen. Either walks with it. If you put in 260000 mm -hmm. he walks and the business has to pay whatever the percentage of him. That's not quite the stock size. The point is, there's an additional cost getting on the other side, right? Right. Here's the next one. This Tom guy. He's got money on the system, and so putting more in his account, he may not play anymore. So, so to, to, to take out of the liability rate from that player is just, you know, it's, it's just messy. You, you, it's hard to tell what he would have seen to get into it. You me? Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm so my, so my, my point here is, I would personally say, whatever the, whatever the incremental rate impact is, mm -hmm. and whatever the incremental cost impact of getting money off the site is, I would say ignore that. There's going to be some incremental cost negative to getting money off the site. There's going to be some incremental benefit positive for, for, for additional play that might get created. Forget it. Don't count either one. That's a wash. But the one that I would argue for, and I don't know how you feel about this, Dan, is if the business put $10 million into accounts, and after six months or whatever their cutoff is, they go back, they know the 1,200 accounts they transferred to, some of them never move, it comes back. No, and that's the way I see that. That's the way we track. The way I see that back when we end up a practical matter is when we negotiate Jim. Six months later, yeah. this will be paid back to you. Now, this is where, with Russ out here, I can be more passionate about something. This, this, this is where I, 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 I think, I, I personally think, that it's, that it's cash that should, should help sniff the money cash full piece of it. Because there's money sitting in the bank. Fucking sucking gold. So, so what I would personally do is, is I would do a uh, an adjustment based on player deposits mm -hmm. and a significant one. So it's a closing adjustment. Post closing adjustment. Yeah. And so now a whole bunch of cash goes over to these guys, so they can swallow whatever the fuck damage this thing does. They hold down the marketing, all the things they're doing, and then yeah. um, recover the break. Mm -hmm. And, and, and also repaint. So there still could be the separate discussion that says, hypothetically, they sent over five. Right. Okay. I would argue, well, whatever Russ's piece is of the, of the cash, or the entity over here has to pay whatever percentage of that is done. Right. And then it has to start paying the business until it hits whatever the other piece is. Right. And, and that's how I would do it. But we mind is needed, and maybe. You know, and maybe you're me say, look, I'm partially responsible for this. That 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 software was created under my watch, and when it was turned off, you know, I wasn't smart enough to say turn it off. And also, when the when the AP, that would have thought about the fact that, gosh, I wonder if there's any possible. So that's that's me. And and all that is, you know, stuff you talk about. So, so, yeah. So something. And. I don't know why that would be such a 
That's the issue. Um, where does the short-term money money comes from? Well, it seems like that uh, what we need to do is, first of all, everybody's in agreement that uh, we have to really try and silence any potential leaks. Talk to everyone, make sure they say nothing. Second is we have to get this dollar amount down, absolute maximum extent. Let me ask I looked at it one way. The players owe the second one. Yeah, let me Please, just, just to show you how to do Did you have a conversation this week I did, with anybody I did. that independent of, uh, of, of Greg talking to Yuri might have given somebody this? You know, so they posted them on the slides one night. They, they, they posted it on Andy Hammer. Trampoline. We think you're the, we think you're the super unit. They posted on Andy Play. Did you play it to him? Did you see it? No, I don't follow that shit. I mean, I just don't think they do it. Yeah, you slice them this way. The players owe like $2 million to about it. I like that one. Not recently. Yeah. Okay. So nothing happened this week that you would talk to the figures here. Okay. What are you talking about, Sam? No. And the 20 number, though, the 20, I mean, that's a wrong number. But it does. I'm, I'm just, uh, this is the, you know, I'm always just I don't want to pay, and right? this is Mark. Got it. So these are the ones that we don't have to pay. Um, I'm always interested in trying to figure out you know, who's talking to whom. Well, somebody out there is bad talking. If they called Tony yesterday, that's two days ago. That's bad. Let, let me give you the example. That I is called really Greg. Bad. I called Greg and I say, "How are things going?" Da 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 da. What do you know about? I'm reaching out to Greg and I'm asking him specific questions. You told me. I just thought of something. You told me over a week ago you talked to Jim Ryan and you said how are things going. You, he said not good. There's 20 million reasons why. Okay. 10 million reasons why. 10 million reasons. Simply, like, there's a $10 million, million problem. Yeah. Okay. This is nonsense. Okay. 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 About it may have been your suggestion, may have been uh, on my own about the, the software issue, mm -hmm. and uh, we then started to talk about where the uh, revisions were going on the on the documents. And because we were trying to get back to do the software with them to do the uh, for California. Greg was going to meet with your this is actually this is going to happen in California, guys. And it's feasible that it, it is going to happen. In the GIGA bill, there's a cut out there. Is yeah, let me explain that in just a second. And I asked him how it was going, and he said, well, that part part's going on a little slowly, but there's a new problem. That's exactly what he said. And I said, okay. I didn't feel like that. asking him about it on an open line. And I never told Sandy anything about this problem until yesterday, the first time, right? Which problem? Oh, this one. I, I didn't know no, crap no. about it until after your discussion with Tony. Yes. So I, I had no idea. Um, just so we're all clear by changing subjects for the moment. Wednesday, coming up, Bill will be introduced in the California Summit. That will provide, if it ever got put, car rooms in California will be licensed to operate online poker. So that's what the bill is basically going to say. Found out about this yesterday. You mean what we are sure. Since you have to be a really good car My question came down to Bill will be good with licensing software. Well, we're just trying to work a deal with them, but somebody made a call to Tony in between and, and told them that we're they had somebody to do it that I could never get licensed, and there's 20 million reasons why I'm not, and it'll be coming out in a few weeks. Yeah, we're sitting there and we're I don't know who this was. I mean, Tony is, if Tony is big business. It's coming to me. And we're, we're, we're trying to put together a process which would benefit X Capsa. Couldn't be cookie cutter. I'm just, when I talk to Cookie, I'm just going to say to him, when, when we talk to Tony lately, I've got a call. Could be cookie. I mean, I'm, Jim just wouldn't say that. I mean, I mean Tony, it's not. How could be I could be have no action. I'll probably say no. I just think it's got to be. I think, I still think, I still think it's, I still think it's Jim Ryan. Because he has my best interest if I do something of mine. I think it's Jim Ryan because when I said Jim Ryan, he's the only one that he didn't say no. He just sat there quiet. The other one said, no, it's not that person. And then when I got to Jim Ryan, 
square. And he says, I'm surprised he wouldn't tell you to start with. And, and I was worried that I said that now I'm being super. It's a two billion dollar business over here if you just took five percent. I mean, it's a two billion dollar business. It's going to happen. I mean, the proposal we had was great, but somebody bad enough to, to Tony, and I don't know how Tony feels about us now. They walk the guy that taking the bill to the legislature when the ass saying he stood up. He had to, we had a two-hour meeting. He said, lock these guys in our he room. He said, lock these four guys in the room and don't up. let them out until we get this thing done. But I don't know how Tony feels because of this call he had. So I don't know how to handle it because of how Tony has to be told that it's in the best interest of the staff. So they get Tony, this is why I think it's Jim Ryan because he said, why don't you make a deal with your software provider? That's exactly what he's why don't you make a deal with them? And maybe he said, maybe why don't you make a deal with them? And then they won't fight you. Wow, I can't believe Jerry would do that. That's just amazing. I would be surprised. The thing is, that I, the, I mean, for this type of thing, it's got to be a California business. It has to be somebody based in California. Absolutely. They're not going to do that. The servers are going to have to be in California. There's going to be a lot of. Yeah, and they need they need a lot of help. They need Tony to help them through this legislature already. They needed stuff that we told them that they needed to put into their bill that Tony needs to amend for them already. Everything that we had, they loved. I mean, they were they were in love with everything here. They were like, a really good job. yeah. Do Do you want uh, Jimmy to hear you? I do. Do you want me to give you back the select player list with the ones marked on it? Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, so give me a. We could use that number. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I appreciate it. Have you guys had any issues with PSA uh, in the last house? I, heard, I haven't had any either, but I heard some stories. Um, no, no, I haven't. Or shall I? I heard a story on the last house. And there are already hard drives. Yeah, and I don't know where did you hear this from? I told them about it. It seems ridiculous. And, you know, they have to get away. Yeah, they do. Uh, you know, they're the yeah, that's why people might have to carry pencils and papers. But I was doing work in the Middle East. Never carried a lot. And, and I didn't even carry a, the equivalent of a blackberry yet. So they didn't want anybody getting my my phone off. It's all these file names. I'll give it to you in a sec. This thing is a deep stuff. Oh, sorry, I've heard of one more. Okay, one second. Okay. So while we're waiting for that one up, um, on the money accounts one, one of these is Lyle Berman, and, and Russ said that, that that's just normal. These are all just doing for a Right. But there's a difference between just someone like Lyle you can't money to. Versus one that was used. Oh, to which, oh, K55 for the copper side. Okay. And August 17th for the copper side. That's it. The ones that are in the transfer on the site, the others K55 are. K55 and August 17th. Now, one thing has never taken a penny off. Los Hamilton's never taken a penny off. T. Diddy, I don't even know. Oh, Quan Lee? I think. I'm sending $10,000. How's he on there? I mean, that should never even be there. It's ridiculous. But the thing about these, Ruff, right, the thing about these accounts is that... No, I don't care what that is. No. What? It helps to have a lot of these associated accounts, because those people won't be refunded. No. Well, like, yeah, but, but, that's, but that's what you and I disagree on. If, 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 someone, like, if someone like Lyle knew nothing this, about this... This is the account where you gave us the credit to begin with that we used to give the players from we up that with This one, this should be your key bitty. I mean, I, I, lo I took the guy $10,000 one time. Yeah, there must be more if it could be on this list. But the point is, if, if you know, if, if, if some, if Bill Hunger said, Russ, give me, right, give me 50000 and Russ transferred to him on the site. I understand. He's not helpful. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. Like, what would you say? It's good or bad? What are you, what are you I'm saying is you, you can't you can't then not pay a bill if it's involved. If it's one of those 
accounts that don't involve no. know what's going on. No. Can that's my opinion. No, trans there's a lot of transfers ago. Dewdrop is Dewey Tomko. He wanted $10,000. I don't even know what he's doing there. Dewey's never had no big transfers in there. Oh, when we opened Bet 21, Dewey had given him $100,000 to get his guys that he sent back. That's all that was. So Dewdrop's nothing. That's what, Bet 21, he had a bunch of like uh, guys that were going to be affiliated. I, I know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, so, you could say, I mean, Kids 55 and August 17 are the only one. Okay. And there's no one in this list that isn't you. These are all you. Oh, no, no. You said, you know, you said this is Houston Curtis, and you said this was this Dennis guy. Yeah, and you did, are, And you did play these accounts, but they don't know about it, so you said. Yeah, they don't even know about it. Okay. Houston Curtis thinks I just. So you got that, Dan? I got Curtis. What's the other one, Dennis? H. Danny underscore Curtis. I got that. And Danny Boy 55. He said it's a guy named Dennis Novinsky. N-O-V-I-N-S-K-E-Y. And they didn't even know that you were playing their accounts? No. Houston Curtis, I told him, I said, Houston's our production guy, and we needed money. And I said, Houston, I'm just going to put some money that I've got into your account. And I played his account one, and he thought I just deposited it. That's all it was. It's account list number one. As far as, but as far as Freddie B and Bonnie, Travis will say that he just told him to take it off for me. I mean, if you have to use Tra if you have to, I don't know if you have to or not. If you have to Some use a name to, to Yuri, if you have to say that to Yuri or something. Yuri, I don't think we'll need a name for. The only one that we need a name for is for Norton. What do, what do you actually need besides the name? Do you need something in writing? Something? You know, after we figure out what the story is and get him to have a statement that totally corroborates it. I have, I have a question that will help me. I don't know if you can answer it. Though, in, over the last two years, when this Audit Monster thing was used, that, that, that was it. Like, what's the longest? I mean, what, what, what would be typical like length of it? One hour. I mean, Tom Eckley's doing the hand history right now. They all show you the link. Oh, no. I'm not talking about the play session. I'm talking about if you sat down and you had five or six play sessions, you had the auto monster things running here the whole time. So I'm not talking about sitting at a table. I'm talking about sitting down total in an evening with the auto monster thing running. Still your answer is an hour? Two hours at the most. I don't know. Harris said play no six, seven hours at a time. Chris can answer this a lot, doesn't it? Uh, see, I pulled, pulled off the wrong file. You said it was obvious. That's indicated? Oh, but the, the names are too long to show that. Right, right, right. He has a long name on Got it. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that when the hot ones are being locked off, because it makes it huge. But there are lots of, 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 of there are definitely days where there are play sessions all day long. Hours. So, you know, sure. I guess the question is, is what you log in with uh, Audit Monster to commence? A lot of times I didn't even log in with it. I just go that's, back. That's clear. That's an easy one. No, that's, that's, that, that's easy to see. Well, let, me, let me just... Our big one would be at times like you're playing with Audit Monster and you log out Audit Monster. Here's what I don't even... This might even be bad at the end. What I was doing is I actually would log in Audit Monster to like 10 games. But not play. That's actually okay. I, I, I and not play. See that. No, I'll show you. I see that. That's, yeah. that's actually that's, that's okay. The problem is you have to give it something to Tom if you want to keep it. No, I can. It's no problem. And what I've done so far with Neo Neo with him is it's all really good. So I'm going to give him some bad ones to where he says, well, these look a little suspicious. Well, they're not all good. Is that what you want for? I don't know. Well, you don't want him to just to give a good report on the other do you? No, we have all to wait and see. We have to it's too think early to tell. We have to decide what the story is. So, so here's an example. So these are this is all the information that we know here in Portland. It's a lot. Which is, which is, you know. So this is just sorting stuff for me to do work. But the session detail is provided by 
So on the snare side, we know the cap names, time stand of a millisecond, uh, IP address, the device number, the navigation number, the country it was in, region, city, the ISP that was being used. And what I was doing is, this is, this is a, an old version, I've got a better one, but the point is, you can see that, okay, here is a login, it is a fax, and, and, and after that login, there are these sessions, these are play sessions. April 10 at, at these times. What do you mean? Well, these are hours, three, four, seven. I just ran, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, zoom up here more specific. There's a play session that started at 3, 12, 4, 7, 8, 11. Mm -hmm. So this, so this, this odd monster thing logged in at 3.36. And before, just before that, the so session there, there was a session. I don't know if it was, you know, if it ended before this. I'm, I'm waiting for that detail. But there was another one at 4, another one at 7, another one at 8. Was it, and you and what I don't know, know the other monster was up. Yeah. And so what you have to do is you have to make some assumptions and say, well, if you assume it was on typically for two hours, three hours. Did somebody have a phone charger? I do. Okay. So you're, you know, so you're, you're, you're saying that, 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 that generally this was done in shorter stints of time? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't, take, you wouldn't typically have the audit list around for too long. Just to get your damage done and just get out. I usually play an hour to two hours, you know, something like that. So what this would suggest is that on that date I showed you, it would suggest that that there were there were times throughout the day where you just played it. Mm -hmm. So here's December sixth. So a bunch of dates here on December sixth where there's nothing. Last time you saw the thing while game was in the fifth grade. I was five when I went in ten different games and didn't play any of them. That was it. Yeah. So this is what this is the tricky part again. So here's a here's an auto monster login at 144 on December 3rd. Just prior to that, at 116 and 119, there was a play session. And here's another play session at 143. That would be another thing that was very helpful. Is there is there typically typically have the auto monster thing on and then go sit down? Or would you sit down and then turn on the other thing? Or did it always random? Help me. Do you know? Uh, let me just think. I would typically sit down in the game first. See if there even was a game. Jump around. Okay. Sometimes so I wouldn't even turn it on. Sometimes I'd play for a half hour and turn it on. Sometimes I'd never turn it on. I'm just dependent. Do you have answers about about these timestamps and if they're end or beginning and all that? And I, I can call all that messaging and uh, I could call, but it's going to be too late for these one. I'll call. I can't log in. It's it's, it's uh, secured to my IP address. So. I, the only place I can log in is at work. I got it. Okay. So so the sooner I have that, I'm kind of I'm at, I'm at a, a stopping point right now. I, I can't. I can call call. But he was actually going to take it even a step further and determine the duration of the Either game. Either way, the yeah, duration of the beginning and the same thing. Right, exactly. Perfect. Okay. So I don't know if there's anything else that, 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 that we I need you on totally unrelated matters. I don't have Door to order. With a liquidator in place. White. We'll get the next one. There is actually a good restaurant at the airport. That's a one place that puts security. Yeah, it's called uh, Is there an airline that goes out of LA late at night? Because Southwest they'll go up past nine forty five. We don't get back in until like ten something on this late flight. Find LA or Vegas. Find LA because by the phone back to Vegas they had had free flight on last year, had a stop over in Frisco, it took like seven hours. U.S. Air might have a flight out of um, uh, a late flight. We can use the top of the computer on the top of the air desk. Uh, I can turn my laptop on when we get to the airport to the restaurant. Okay. Anyway, if you know what I... Stanford's for this. 
Right. So what's the follow-up from here? Who's going to contact whom? Okay. I, mean, I think we'll first we'll call, get something out from Apple immediately. We're in a deep end, but we have to do is we have to work on getting out. Uh, okay. What we're trying to do is yeah. So what I'm trying to do is get, get more data to continue giving the business analysis capability. Then and, and slice it by literally by hour, so they can say how. You know, if I look at it various ways, what does it do? Okay. Then um, uh, Paul is going to, to, to say, okay, I got this mathematician. So if I, if I send them play sessions that I believe are effective and play sessions that I believe aren't, mm -hmm. math support that. So that would begin. Follow me here? So the money transferred off the site. No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, this is solely looking at the two types of play sessions. Okay. Suspected and looks okay. Got it. Okay. And hopefully, when he looks at it, he looks at the map. This is after McAvoy's. This is in the history of the McAvoy's is being qualitative. And you're doing this. This is a quantitative, statistical variance kind of an analysis. Got it. Okay. You know, can a, can a player who's, who's playing at a table three handed, you know, is that. Is that within how many sigma kind of expected, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, if the, the slicing this by, you know, however they want to do, and it limits it, and you then take play sessions and send it back to the math guy, now look at this group and this group and tell me what you think. And hopefully the person says, oh, yeah. The math is probably high of this. Not good. I don't know if that's good or bad for us, but he's not good. Doesn't have a good math. What? Doesn't have a good reputation. He's a young guy that doesn't know he's a dollar, two dollar poker player that's got some websites out there. He's it's called something E V and uh, he even says I'm getting out of poker, I'm gonna try my hand or something else and he's just what I'm worried about with the guy is that well you you know he tries to get a reputation and try and Well, I don't know I'm going that far. I'm just saying that you know, he was one thing of Donnie that's good is he said I used to be this type player, and then I figured out heads up and shorthanded, you just got to play fast and aggressive. Right. So, so anyway, so then we're so going now to play a session down. back to this math guy, Keep having run both sets and hopefully say, yeah, this, what they expect in value for you know, you know, okay. Okay. these are in their own possibility, these things are in their own possibility, then the business, information. when they go to the KGC and literally lays out, okay, Let's talk about what we know, what we don't know, what we've done, our analysis. This is what we are going to do. Well, obviously, it's not Joe Kirk because he's got to go in there and sit there. How did they pick this guy? I don't know. What else is for? I think what it was is that Shackelford turned on the job. The guy from uh, Blackjack's site, uh, Wizard of Oz. He turned on the job. very good friend, John Warhol. The only two books he's ever wrote was with Warhol's. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's kind of the process. Got it. And, and Hopefully those things help create one good story. Raising he wants some sort of job out of this. So. He wants a job from who? After this, you know, help us with our security and stuff. And who does? This mathematician. So that's the super EV or whatever they the site? He wants a job with who? With continued work from us, from the site. So that's helpful. So who's hiring him? KG Sierra, yes. we're hiring it, but we got KGC's approval on him. Oh, so you're hiring him? Yeah, the business is hiring him. Business is hiring him. Okay, I was confused. But, but KGC has KGC is insisted on reviewing and approving. So okay. they reviewed and approved this guy. I'm sure it'll do the same with McAvoy. But I'm sure the resume is just sitting on the one of their desks. So that's why they wanted the resume, to get KGC. So is this kid going to come down there to do it, or is he going to go from home? I think he's going to do the math guy? Yeah. There, there's something of stripped down stuff with no player names in it, and just, and then what they'll do is they'll regroup and just say, run that group and run this group. And he's not supposed to be doing it hand by hand, looking at players and all that stuff. He's just supposed to be. And even if he does, it's my understanding that all the names are being stripped out. So all he's going to know is player one, player two. They make the mistake of some player names and hand history. They're going to fuck up big time. Yeah. Who's you doing this? you got to make sure it's like that. Well, he knows. There is always the risk. Why don't we just finish up here? Why don't we go back to that? Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. We'll get through this. Thank you, Dan. Enjoy. Are you driving back tonight?
I never thought I'd be thankful that uh, six gas hasn't distributed us our money yet, but there's a reason. Six gas hasn't paid us any of this money. The good thing is that six gas hasn't paid Thank uh-huh. you. 